Hello and uh, welcome everybody to the game, the game, and uh, let me see, I can't actually see, oh, empty shot, thank you so much for the prime sir and welcome, I'm uh, wondering, okay, there we go, the game actually started, um, good evening to everybody and of course, uh, welcome, welcome, Lizard the Wizard, good evening, Cleozin, we got Wendark, hello sir, bonsoir, Irelus Maximus, good evening, good evening sir, and welcome, we do have Goober Dragon 13 in the house, hello there sir, and welcome, Welcome. Damsel Lee is also with us. Um, hello there and uh, welcome. I am not sure if I should actually call you a sir or a ma'am. I'm a bit confused. So I'm, I'm uh, honestly, I don't know what to do here. Uh, also, Big Z, good evening, sir, and welcome. We got all triangle. Oh in the house. Good evening, good evening, welcome, welcome. Bonsoir, Asgorn, and bienvenue, monsieur. We're just a few seconds away from uh, seeing this game started. As you can good see, evening. they are uh, starting. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, the loon. Hello there. Um, uh, salut, Milset. Good. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Thank you so much, by the way, the loon for the uh, for the prime. Thank you so much, so much. Uh, Brody Budhead zero five zero nine. Let's go, indeed. And we're just um, a few seconds away. Let me actually uh, reconnect really quickly here. I don't want to click quickly click on buttons and uh, get back into the lobby so they don't miss me. There we go. And of course, uh, they get to start their game without me. Um, um, delaying it that much and Nitro, good evening sir and uh, welcome welcome so what is happening here we do have from what I understand the qualifier for the CVFR squadrons the new season will start in uh, just a few weeks I believe after the 7th of uh, January and um, uh, there were quite a few teams that actually uh, dropped from um, uh, the first division, the second division, the third division, and uh, so on. And, oh my god, thank you so much, Natro. We got nine months over here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Saladin, also, thank you so much, sir, for the prime, prime, prime. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, in the next period, we're going to have um, them uh, playing against each other in, um, I believe, uh, I'm not sure if it's a double round robin. I think it's a, a, a simple round robin, if I'm not mistaken, but let me double check this. Uh, I can actually share the link to the qualifier here, uh, so you get to see exactly what's uh, going on. Give me a second, there we go. Um, by the looks of it, there are four rounds and eight teams, and uh, we do need to see them uh, finishing up, of course, with, uh, what is it, uh, nine teams. There are actually nine teams. Okay, well, how is the bracket? Four rounds. Is, am I missing something? I guess we're going to have to see what, what's going to happen here. Uh, okay, so we got four rounds we're between the 19th and the 23rd of December. This is the round we're talking about now. Ban is going to be Pangea. Between the 24th and 28th, uh, we're going to have, actually, let me put it up on the screen so everybody can see. We're going to have um, Continents and Islands banned between the 29th of December and the 2nd of January, uh, 2023, of course. So we got the Plateau. Uh, this is uh, uh, Plateau's... Uh, not sure. Is it island place? This is not island place, I, I believe, right? Uh, oh, this is Highlands. This is Highlands, right? Plateau is Highlands. Uh, Highlands. There we go. Bonsoir, Fifi. Thank you so much. It took me a second to actually um, process what, <laughs> what Plateau means. Um, between the 3rd and the 7th uh, January, we got a ban on the seven seas. And the, uh, by the looks of it, uh, we're going to need to see exactly who's going to get into uh, D1. Uh, and then we're going to need to see uh, who's going to end up in the other uh, in the other divisions i'm pretty sure everybody actually wants to um, uh, show what they have what they got over here flex their muscles against each other and we're going to see uh, those big brain muscles of course uh, we're going to see them um, uh, going uh, strong in the next few weeks uh, it does seem like we got Bo Brody Bothead subscribing on a tier one. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, also, Rafifi was also talking about uh, I arrive and someone has a name who is a pun with a Pokemon name. Well, yeah, you know, it, it happens. Yeah, there we go. You found it. Oh, we got Armada Siracusa giving five tiers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we got quite a few of you getting uh, some subs over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And by the looks of it, we do have seven seas tonight as a map to go for. Uh, and uh, the players are going to need to choose their banned civilizations on this game. Um, from what I understand in the rules, we don't actually have them... Um, 
uh, we, we don't allow them to choose uh, civilizations from um, the new ones. So the six new civilizations that got introduced recently by uh, Phyrexis, they're not going to be in the game. Uh, and, uh, of course, they're not going to be in the band phase uh, either. Uh, we do have Hungary taken down. Looks like Russia is also taken down. On the seven seas, you do have to pay attention to uh, the naval as well as the land. Not to mention, of course, those culture civilizations. Uh, we're going to need to see how... Um, uh, this will uh, end up on and wait a second did i see that correctly we actually have a hype train going on so early in the stream oh my god guys guys this is amazing we we just passed like what 20 minutes on the stream and we got a hype train going wow wow that's amazing um looking at um at the team rosters over here i'm gonna actually need a little bit of help and of course this is the first time that i see the team so let me actually switch to discord so i can um uh, you know, take a quick peek uh, at their uh, names and see exactly who is who over here. And then I'm going to relate to you uh, whose team is who. So we got the Boomer APMs um, with the Guernaros. So he is t team one. Uh, Milson, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, sir. Uh, Guernaros with uh, Harentros, with uh, Yogdriel and the Pebleton. Pebleton. Uh, we do have them playing for Boomer APMs. Of course, if you guys don't know Boomers, uh, we do have them uh, representing the pre- what is it pre 90s i believe uh, the ones that actually um or is it pre-80s? All right. And we got the Boomers. And also, fun fact, Boomers uh, is also the name, or I should say the, um, the nickname of uh, submarines, especially nuclear submarines. So, yeah, yeah. You've got to watch out, man. These Boomers, you don't know when they're coming. You know, bad uh, G4. Good evening, sir. Uh, thing, uh, yeah. Definitely. Thank you so much for, uh, for the sub over there. Um, on the other side, we do have uh, the newcomers. Let me actually take a quick peek over here again and uh, see what's uh, going on uh, on this side. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Uh, Joyo Lurons de la Central. From what I understand, I'm not sure exactly what Lurons means, but I think it's the um, happy dwarfs of the center of Central. The Central, I think it's that. Right? Joyo Lurons de la Central. Um, I thought you were uh, about to say boomers used to be your nickname. <laughs> no, generally boomers are people born uh, between uh, 1946 and 1964. Thank you so much, uh, Big Z. There we go. So um, boomers are, uh, well, I guess uh, they're going to get they're quite old right now, right? Nine, between 1946 and 1964, that's a lot of years now. Uh, anyway, yeah, well, 70, 60 plus uh, Joyo Lurons is a happy person. Okay, okay, there we go. So happy person, the happy persons of um, Central. Uh, interesting. Their, their logo, though, I gotta say the logo is about dwarves. So that's why I was thinking about dwarves. I'm sorry if uh, I was a bit uh, confused with this one, but let me actually put it up on the screen too, so you can see what I'm talking about. Hey, look, look at this. Like, how can you... Give me a second. So how can you misread this right the le yo lurons is this the happy persons this is what it means or uh, what is the same happy dwarf i don't know i'm confused right now but i i would hope of course i don't um um i would say uh i don't make anybody unhappy by my comment i it wasn't meant to that's just the image i saw and then my mind was click click Lorenz means a dwarf. <laughs> yes, um, yes, it is what it means. Okay, got it, got it. Thank you. So uh, let's take a look at what they're picking over here. We do have uh, Norway taken down. Looks like uh, Coupes got taken down, Japan taken down, and um, also we do have um, uh, Dido taken away. Uh, while on the pig face, we're going to have Victoria picked up first by Guernaroth. Uh, Spain with uh, Cri got picked up by um, uh, Joyo Lorenz, the happy persons. Uh, and then Portugal is going to pick uh, is going to be picked uh, here in the fourth one. So it looks like we're going to have quite a bit of uh, land the trade routes over here um i believe they are going for a, uh, well then they, they're kind of throwing the dice here and to see what's going gonna happen uh, i'm pretty sure uh, they would want to have um Portugal trading with um, England on the seas, and we're so and we're gonna see what's uh, gonna happen. So dwarf is nain in in nain in uh, French. Okay, okay. Uh, greeting, CC Paro. Good evening, sir. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Long time no see. We've been off stream for quite some time now. We we just had a little stream on uh, Sunday, but yeah, we're back. We are back. We got. Um, uh, 
this uh, today again we're gonna have a game on uh, thursday and i do believe uh, tomorrow i don't know i don't know about tomorrow yet i saw it uh, just appeared over here but i do have something uh, to do a few hours before so i don't know if i can make it to this one anyway we'll, we're gonna need to see i'm gonna try to talk to the players and see uh, what we can do and of course um, hopefully we're gonna get that going as well it uh, looks like uh, they're going into the second ban phase with uh, Rome being picked up here as the seventh ban. Uh, I honestly am ex still expecting something like Canada, maybe some uh, Zulu appearing over here in the active ban phase. I'm surprised. Um, <coughs> oh, Catherine de Medici got picked. What? Catherine de Medici so early? I guess that extra diplomatic visibility is making quite a splash over here. Um, also, I wonder if a second division will take more original picks uh, than in the first one. Uh, you mean in the second? Yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, Guitarja is also available. Guber Dragon is uh, calling it out. And LGS is telling me to pronounce Nain as Noon. Noon. Okay, Nan. Oh, actually, it's not un, right? It's uh, pronouncing it, uh, pronouncing it in uh, French. Yep. Uh, okay, we'll see. We'll see how that uh, goes. Uh, looking at uh, what's uh, going on. By the way, in the Squadron Mercato channel, we had a lot of jo uh, joinings and this like these bands and then rejoins and then like there's so much, so so much going on over there in the um, season 11 uh, mercato channel oh man oh man uh, looks like in the aztec uh, civilization the aztec civilization is not going to be a part of this game quite surprising actually i was uh, again i was uh, definitely thinking about other bands here maybe they do have some information that we don't have uh, we might actually see them um uh, doing some um, picks over here, some uh, bands that are targeted against other players, so they know um, their opponents are playing um, uh, something very, very well, and they don't want to take that away from them. Um, at the same time, um, I do believe Kublai China definitely is still available. We got so many of them. Um, Brody Barrett, what's the next uh, CWC game you're casting? I do not know. CWC is starting up with the playoffs um, in January, so we're going to need to see exactly what's going on over there. We're going to see their schedules, and uh, there are quite a few weeks, actually, from now to then. Uh, um, it will be announced on the Civ6WorldCup.com Civ uh, um, website. You're going to have all of the games with uh, respective uh, streamers there. Also, we got quite a few fans here in the house. Happy people! Woo! Mascalo, good evening, sir, and welcome. Bienvenue, bienvenue. Um, as you is saying, quite close, I mean, it's like, uh, um, one in French, oh, uh, oh, uh, okay, uh, but with an N in front of it, uh, not, uh, okay. Uh, anyway, that's not the point here. Good cast, thank you so much, thank you so much. I'm trying, I'm, look, man, I'm trying to learn French. It's still an ongoing process, and boom, Kublai Khan, China, got picked up here Thor tank let's go also um, wait there's a game on Saturday oh, what <laughs> CC Pyro okay yeah yeah definitely the uh, the Christmas game yeah the Christmas game <laughs> I still I, I would still do it I gotta say I would still do it definitely if there was a Christmas game I would still do it uh, we do have uh, Basil and, and picking it up here in the 10th one it looks like um, uh, that's gonna be the end of the band civilizations so Yog Trial with uh, Pebbleton are gonna be the next ones uh, to pick of course from the Boomer APMs I don't know why but whenever I actually write that you know clan name somehow it actually comes out bomber it's not boomer it's bomber i don't know why it's, it's just my my fingers man uh yog drill coming up with uh, shaka looks like uh, he's gonna go for the ikandas uh, we might actually see some impies uh, splashing against uh, walls over here and uh, we're gonna need to see what the pebbleton is gonna fix it up uh you gotta remember since they did pick up victoria and jao they have more than enough gold to go for uh, so i would expect them uh, to go um, quite heavy here in the military um, of course they could go for, they could try to go for something a little bit more culture like or maybe some weird thing like sweden but yeah there we go there there we go the gold is now um, it's now balanced you know this is balanced right now we got arabia goober dragon calling it out yes saladin the vizier now this is um arabia pre um um how to say the uh, the 
last Arabia that we know. Uh, Saladin here with uh, the worship buildings, with the last prophet, with uh, the science from the foreign cities, the Mamluks, Madrasas, all of them, of course, are very good, very good um, abilities. Didi is going to be the last one to pick here for... Um, uh, Le Joyo, uh, we're going to see uh, what he's going to go. Le Joyo, Laurent, okay. Uh, called it, yeah, Gober Dragon called it indeed. Uh, Rafifi also saying it's Thor Tank with a pun with a Pokemon game. Uh, Thor Tank, it's a Blatois, a Squirty, uh, Final Evolution, the first water starter. My god, child, we have a Squirtle in Plush for Christmas, by the way. Wait, really? Amazing. And Guitarja. Um, is uh, gonna be picked up here by uh, Didi as the last civilization. So we will see a two versus two on the seas here. It looks like uh, Guernaroth with Victoria uh, will have uh, Joe the third as an ally. Then we're gonna see Philip the second have an ally in Guitarja. Uh, we might actually see them uh, going um, against each other. Of course, uh, we still need to see the maps. They do have um, uh, two remap tokens, of course, one each uh, to go for. And actually, looking at the prediction over here, let me put it up on the screen. So we have. How many remaps? Let's go for five minutes because we have quite a bit of time. Let's go. Got it. Got it. Good. Let's go. Um, okay. So now they have a few minutes uh, to switch their slots. Maybe they do want to uh, switch their uh, priorities. Uh, going higher in slots, you're going to have, um, of course, a better priority when it comes to the wonders, when it comes to uh, same turn, great people and points and so on and so forth. So we're going to need to see uh, who's actually going to... Uh, who are they going to prioritize and what kind of civilization it does uh, seem like at the moment they're taking their time to uh, switch around and of course we're going to see uh, in just a few seconds whoa 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 wait a second we got two pound makers two pound makers okay guernaroth on uh, victoria looks like terthi on um terthai terthai i think it's thigh right and thigh um with philip the second thor tank with the uh, guitarja harentros on uh, Jao the third boxes on Poundmaker, yogdriel on uh, saladin we got pebbleton on uh, shaka mervin on kublai khan china and boxes is actually didi haha okay got it didi haha ha -ha. how do you how, how should I read this, by the way? How should I read this? There are so many accents that I could do on ha 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 Final present is such a pain. At least I know what to take. I know, right? Especially with like so many uh, things happening. By the way, did you guys see the new uh, movie coming out from the DC Universe? I know I talked about it on the last three, but unbelievable. We actually were talking about how uh, DC Universe is going down, 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 down because. Um, James Gunn just um, uh, canceled all of the upcoming movies in uh, 2023 and 2024. And then somehow a new movie comes out on Netflix, on uh, HBO. And I was like, okay, I mean, that happened. And it's honestly, it's not a bad one. It's definitely not a bad one. Uh, Diddy 0607 Hello there, sir, and welcome. Well, actually, should I call you a sir on a ma'am? Hmm. What should I do here? I don't. I don't mean no disrespect, but I would like to know. Make, makes it much more easier for me to actually, uh, you know. Say, are you sure it's not pronounced keke? Keke? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, okay, so we got uh, the new the map. Uh, we're still not sure if this is actually gonna be the map uh, that they're gonna play. We're gonna see uh, what um, the players will want. At turn eight, they're gonna have a pause and they're gonna get to choose to use the remap tokens or not use the remap tokens. Uh, you guys um, in the chat, you can predict how many remaps we're gonna have in this game. With uh, of course uh, starting with the option none or one or two, uh, and uh, we're gonna need to see at the end of this. Um, when they're actually gonna p go past uh, 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 they have a double channel oh no oh no they they might have no oh they they might have not fixed zero ms or something um uh, that would be a bad thing but i guess we're gonna need to see mm -mm -mm. oh he's uh, disconnecting now 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 okay zero ms is a thing i'm missing uh, i don't know any french okay well, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'm uh, taking my good old time to actually um, figure out French as well. I'm still looking for a second tutor. Like, I, it is what it is. For some reason, man, I, I, oh my God, like, 
I went through something in the last few weeks. I don't know exactly how even to uh, talk about it, like to explain it. So I found a tutor. There's like a tutor site on um, in Romania that you get to like see a catalog of tutors and you get the phone numbers and you get to call them and you ask them and uh, tell them your whatever your needs or your wants. And then you, you get to um, uh, set up meetings, like for at least the first one. And um, I found a tutor. I talked. I set up meeting. I uh, received a message 30 minutes before the first meeting. Hey, I can't make it anymore. And this was why, by the way, and this was like a week after I first talk. And then um, I received a message. I, I sent a message uh, to confirm it one day before. Just, you know, like, ah, we're going to see tomorrow. It was confirmation, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, yeah, everything's good. Everything's fine. 30 minutes before the actual time. I can't make it anymore. I got an emergency. Uh, okay. I mean, you know, that's that's not like the best first uh, I would say a meeting that you can have definitely does set the tone for the rest of the <laughs> you know it's it's quite unusual <laughs> then um, uh, I set up second meeting which was one week after no calls no nothing not even a message not, not nada nada and it just didn't show up and I'm like oh they're reloading okay reloading really quickly here okay like, how, how is this possible? Man? How, like, really, how is this possible? Like, this tell me, like, there's like no obligation to say yes or no. You just say no, and it is fine, right? I, you don't waste my time. I don't waste your time. I, oh no, no, of course I did not. <laughs> but I don't get it. You know, like it feels so easy, right? It's a service. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna go for it, it's fine. Right? You don't wanna waste anybody's time, right? Why would you waste somebody's time? It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyway, now so I uh, it is what it is. I'm still searching for a second tutor here. But I think I did make quite a few good um, advancements when it comes to uh, French. Still can't speak it properly, and that's one of the reasons I am uh, searching for a new tutor so I can actually. Um, um, how to say, uh, have live, live conversations rather than online conversations. I feel like it's much easier for me to um, uh, learn and much better for me to learn the live uh, interaction, uh, to see, you know, the, to see all of the, um, um, the face, the reactions. Uh, I get to blush a little bit when I make a mistake. I get to go through uh, all of those mistakes and so on and so forth much easier uh, if I um, get it uh, done. Oh, it uh, says reopen. Give me a second. I'm clicking. There we go. Okay, there we go. We're, uh, we're coming in. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. In these days, it is what it is. Oh, my, uh, my phone. My phone. Uh, China and Portugal are on the same seas. Oh, I didn't actually get to see that. I was uh, so um, uh, so focused on what's going on here uh, that I didn't see that. Uh, good comment. Good catch. Good catch. Calling out a remap. Whoa, so quickly. You don't you don't like how the map looks? Oh, we got a zero ms here. Uh oh, we got a zero ms, boys. We're coming back in. Okay, there we go. Oh, I rejoined and he rejoined. Okay, well, I guess uh, both of us did. It's fine. Oh, well, oh, well. It is what it is. Okay, Marvin connected. He's going to be playing Kublai Khan China. We got Pebbleton on Shaka. Looks like uh, Yogdriel on Saladin. Pawnmaker on uh, uh, Didi. This is Didi, by the way. On Pawnmaker, Harentros on Jao the Third. Thor Tank on uh, Guitarja. Third Thai. Uh, third Thai on uh, Philip the Second and Guernaroth. Uh, uh, Victoria? I believe Victoria was. Okay. Still going to need to see. Um, there we go. Double check it. Yeah, it is Victoria. So I. We're going to need to actually take a look uh, here exactly who is who on the map and we're going to see um, uh, 
the distance between them, proximity, I should say, and of course uh, their neighbors, or I should say the whole neighborhood. Uh, there we go, we're coming in, and hopefully everybody's going to be fine this time. Um, I did tell them to uh, check the zero MS, and it uh, should be fine. Fingers crossed, man, fingers crossed. Um, okay, so China over here, you're talking about China being on the same as, uh, same seas as uh, Portugal. Yeah, it looks like uh, he's on the same seas, but that's not good. They are on uh, different teams. And uh, China over here could definitely pull off uh, quite a strong attack against Portugal if he needs to. Uh, we're going to need to um, take a look what kind of development China is going to have uh, in his uh, next... Um, in his next... Um, uh, turns and of course we're going to need to see if uh, Marvin is going to manage to uh, get more size than his opponent. We do have uh, China with a lot of uh, potential over here. Uh, definitely, it, it does look like he's going to have fresh water from the river. He does have a 3-1-1 fish style uh, for some extra food and I believe they are not playing with the BCY with the um, better city uh, yields. We do have them uh, actually with uh, quite a few, quite a bit of fresh water here on the east and on the south, uh, and uh, it does seem like uh, there's a little bit of tundra, and just a speck of tundra. It's okay, you know, it's just a tiny bit of tundra. It's fine. It's not going to hurt anybody. Um, if he actually goes with one city on the coast, he has only two solutions. And of course, he's going to be either commit to the coast or totally ignore it. Um, also, Portugal has Great Barrier Reef. Uh, yeah, he does. Also, Lassie Serpel. Hello there, sir. What are you wondering about? Definitely. What are you wondering? Uh, there's no tutus. <laughs> Yeah, actually, there are no tutus over here for uh, China. China, China number one. I don't know what uh, happened. Maybe it was, um, I would say, uh, no BBS or something. Anyway, I guess uh, he's going to have to do. Uh, change map from TBD. Thank you so much, sir. Actually, yeah, good, good point, good point. Uh, this is seven Cs, right? Seven Cs. There we go. That should not be possible. Yeah, well, it looks like uh, it did happen. And hopefully we're going to need to see them uh, choosing something, uh, giving the goal for him to pick up a 2-2, two -two, but that's uh, going to be enough gold only next turn. They're going to have enough turn for one of these 2-2s. Two anyway, um, he can actually move on the T-tile and set the rice if he wants to. Uh, definitely has 2-2s uh, two to work there and, of course, uh, quite a few other tiles to work. A strong camp, a strong um, harbor, but it's, uh, well, I don't know if it's ideal or not. We're going to need to see. He's going to move off fresh water. Uh, looking in the south, Portugal does have a um, par um, great barrier reef on the west side, and of course that's going to be a very powerful, very powerful uh, campus. Uh, he does uh, need... Oh, what are you doing there, uh, Mr. Cat? Yeah, we do have uh, quite a few... Uh, Settles for him on the rivers to the south to the northeast. A lot of these spices, and of course, I do see that uh, die style winking at me. I believe uh, he can definitely settle a city on the two two, and of course, uh, work that ties, work that ties, get some bananas in there, and uh, get uh, get that food in. He's uh, going for a scout now. He does have a 2-2 base and um, uh, quite a few horses in the capital. Uh, let's see to the south. I uh, guess I can talk about Zulu. Uh, he's right on the edge of the map over here to the southwest. Uh, he's going to be the ally of Jao the third, and he can definitely put a city on the coast there. That uh, ivory tile does look like really juicy. Um, and of course, he does have quite a few 2 -twos around it. Uh, can help out uh, his buddy buddy to get those trade routes uh, cap to cap. And of course, uh, that's going to be a lot of gold generated. Uh, Pebbleton here is going to get um, to settle a decent amount of cities to the west side and to the east side, has mountains to work for, and the uh, target to go against, Powermaker is going to be his um, target, Boxes over here, or I should say Didi, is uh, going to be with Miki Sivwachik, with the uh, Oxitao coming up in four turns, he does have uh, Deer Tile in the capital with uh, two patches from what I can see, not the best spawn for uh, Kree, but definitely can work. It's it's fine, it's fine. Um, Gornaros is asking if they have good spawns. Uh, Legards, is it like something like a shortening of Le Garçon? Uh, yes, one remap per team. Indeed, as Gorn, thank you so much, sir. Uh, also, that is a terrible spawn for China. Does Portugal team have a remap? They do have a remap, yes. And he actually, of course, bought the 2-2 two -two tile over there. And we're going to see him uh, try to work it. Work it, work it, work it. 
Um, <laughs> what are the great characters? Oh, oh, the great people. We got uh, scientists here, nothing at value. Hano the Navigator, the first one. Art of Roshunsu, Isodor of Miletus, Zankiang as the first one. So I'm pretty sure that somebody's gonna click on that merchant and say, Oh, I'm going, I'm going, let's go. You know, with great merchant points, let's go, great merchant points. We got Cairo here with a 2-1 base, a 3-1-1 fish style. I'm actually quite surprised he didn't go for the ship on the east. Uh, and uh, by the looks of it, he's gonna get to... Um, uh, get the fresh water from the lakes here uh, that's not that bad of a spawn but at the same time I kind of need to see how he's going to play it and plan out his uh, holy site slash um, campus adjacency here uh, usually that's how uh, Arabia rolls and I believe it's going to be somewhere over here to the northwest he's going to get to set uh, put down um, a decent amount of campuses but unfortunately there aren't enough tiles for everything especially if they are um, consumed by these horses and of course the lakes that's gonna dwindle the number of uh, tiles available for his districts uh, definitely a decent amount anyway uh, he's uh, going for two scouts here or one scout one scout um, by the looks of it uh, and uh, he is gonna he probably worked a fish or something yeah with 10 five no he's not even worked a fish did he get another scout and I didn't see it no it's just one scout. Oh my god. Okay. Five turning a scout. Uh, okay. It is what it is. Set running six. Bro, you really need to prioritize your food now. Oh, you really need to prioritize your production now. Because that setter coming up in six is very late. It's so late, man. So late. Arabia River Goddess, Captain P. Car. Ah. Uh, not so convinced that he should pick actually uh, River Goddess since he, this river on the west side is not going to be that uh, close to him, uh, to his capital, even though he can put one on the oil. Well, it doesn't feel like the best choice here. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, also, Indonesia in a puddle. Yeah, Indonesia is in a puddle and he has the Ha Long Bay in the puddle over here with him. Oh man, it, what is it? Ha Long Bay. It's one of those two. We're going to need to see, of course, if uh, Indonesia is going to find it out. At the moment, uh, Thor Tank is just moving uh, across it, around it. We do have uh, Majapahit with uh, Cetra coming up in three. It looks like he's going to be relatively close to Spain. And uh, Didi found a goody hut and got a relic. Very nice, very nice over here for, uh, who was it, Cree? I believe uh, Cree. Yeah, Cree. He got a relic. Easy peasy pantheon there. Now, we do need to see Majapahit's uh, adjacency to Spain. By the looks of it, he's going to get a decent amount of territory between him and uh, Spain over here. A good land to settle with the spices. Uh, I do see a, a few hills with two twos and one threes. And the geothermal that means there must be a continent split somewhere over here and of course uh, spain is going to be incentivized to settle that uh, ivory tile that's a very nice actually opening uh, statement here from uh, spain let's go madrid let's go ivory let's get the two to one base going get the gold get the tusks and of course um, manage to uh, get big yeah, get big, bro. Uh, uh, actually, are they going to even see each other? Oh, my God. They're not going to see each other. They don't know about this. They, no, wait. They're allies. They're allies. It's fine. It's fine. They know about this. They know. They know. What's... Uh, does anybody know about their opponents here? No? No? Nobody met... Uh, their opponents nobody met their opponents we had london to talk about also london london one big land but it looks like he does have uh, two possible continents to go for if he wants to get some extra trade routes he can definitely go for them not to mention he can red coat somebody let's see who can he red coat uh, too far away maybe arabia can he red coat arabia his same team same team no never mind same team Okay, well, I guess he's not going to red coat anybody. They're kind of far away from each other. But uh, having trade routes to Arabia is still going to be bad, actually. Thinking about it, Arabia is never going to get a campus. Uh, campus, sorry, uh, like a commercial in there, right? The, the trade routes are just going to be... Eh. Eh. Meh. Not even meh. No, you know, like not, not even the good meh is just going to be meh. <laughs> the short man. Um, Spain has a nice continent split there indeed. Yeah, yeah. Spain uh, Spain is uh, relatively okay-ish, but I still wouldn't uh, really want to play this, honestly. Uh, good second settle on the southwest, but um, all of the other cities are kind of weird. Kind of weird. He does have, well, I guess one, two, three, four relatively okay-ish ones. A fifth one on the honey tile. 
Now you get another one here to the south. I guess, okay, it's not that bad, but not ideal. Anyway, we're going to have a remap. This is the first remap, right? Small soldiers, also good evening, sir. Mill said, hello, hello, sir. We did indeed check that the Spanish spawn. I mean, if Arabia goes to uh, feed the world, then yeah, I'll get the co he'll get the commercial. Yeah, eventually, right? He's going to be like, every turn, England is going to look at his trade routes and he's going to be like, Arabia, get a commercial, bro. Like, what are you doing for gold? You want me to find you? Well, get me a commercial. One commercial. That's it. One commercial. And Arabia will be like, yeah, bro, I'm, get me some more food. Food, bro. Visal bank. And yeah, put it in. Put it in now. Takes a while, you know, takes a while. Why well, he needs what well, in the capital he needs at least tenth pop if he wants to get a harbor out. Because he's gonna prioritize Holy Site, Campus, Gavron Plaza, that's already seven pop, right? And so he's gonna need another one. Yeah. They just need to build great uh, yeah, right? <laughs> do a town, put it on the coast, do a harbor and we are good. Yeah, or that, or that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rafifi has the right idea over there, just you know, make make one for uh, everybody. Oh Ooh. Oh no, gypsum? Nah, no gypsum bro. Wait, this is stone tile. Oh no more pashers? I don't see any cattle over here, do you see? Maybe this is cattle. Maybe this is this is rice actually. You not cattle. This maybe cattle. Cattle! We got cattle in the north. One cattle time. We know we're looking blindly of what's going on here. Maybe we're gonna see some uh, horses as well. Uh, Spartia text, uh, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome, welcome. We got a team plus, so we're still waiting for everybody to load, by the way, I believe. Uh, not sure exactly who load. Uh, we should have everybody actually it says everybody i don't know why the map didn't load usually we do see the map uh, loading and of course uh, the colors are revealed to everybody by the way guys did you get to use right now open ai like uh, dal e have you ever used dal e let me see if i have it open somewhere over here oh man it's amazing I'm gonna keep talking about it. This is amazing, by the way. Dal E. Dal E. Okay, there we go. Image emulation. Exactly, right? Exactly. You use all of that. Wait, really? You actually use that for your work? That's amazing. That is amazing. I actually started using that as well. It's unbelievable. I was trying to figure out if I could use some, like, make some thumbnails out of it or get some pictures and so on uh, for maybe the, like the website or uh, uh, emotes. I, I did get these ones, right, for uh, for the, um, uh, the bits uh, rewards. I got, uh, let's see, this. I got this one. <laughs> look look at look how cute this is man and i got another one let's see riot right you guys can riot right over here there we go we got a new emote on spot riot yay we got uh creek coming up uh, to the northwest of this map looks like he's gonna have a 2-2 base he can't just settle in place and work that 2-2 stone tile uh he does have a um Unfortunately, a bit of a problem. Um, he's in the capital city. He's not going to have a lot of pastures. But if he does settle this one over here to the northwest, he could actually get uh, three of those cattle tiles. That is going to allow him to put a magnus in, and of course, uh, get big. Oh my God, the citrus one. We got a one. Oh, 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 oh not this sit. Oh my God. Like even my mouth right now is actually drooling over this. I need to get my drool back in, uh, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you imagine? Exactly. On the one to one ivory tile, you settle it on the one to one ivory tile, you get a two to one base, and you get eight pastures and camps to work with Magnus. Can you imagine the food? Man, oh man, that's going to be insane. That That is going to be so much growth over here for uh, Didi. I just hope he actually realizes what, what he can do over here to the north. And of course, scouts it because that's another problem. You should actually scout it. We got a bit of an advantage over here because you, we're using the better spectator mode. We got more vision than they do. 
I mean, each city having a few patches and camps helps uh, out a lot instead of all of the patches and camps uh, in the same uh, city. Uh, no, not really. Actually, it's it's all um, for Cree. It's all about that um, Magna city uh, or the city you're sending the trade routes to. That's the problem. You need to send the trade routes to a, a city, and that's how it works, unfortunately. Uh, Cree over here. Pound maker. Your outgoing trade routes grant one food to pound maker per camp or passion at the destination. And then trade routes sent to your cities grant one gold to pound maker per camp or passion at the destination. Nation. can you imagine that that's eight food and eight gold trade route that's actually better than an external whoa whoa and then you get like on top of that you actually get your uh, production from magnus you get your production from other districts you get to build a commercial maybe industrial zone maybe a campus maybe a, a definitely definitely you need to go for gaffer plaza and of course uh, if you want to just you know throw the dice get a diplo quarter in there Anyway, I need to move away because, oh my god, this is sad. Uh, Arabia coming up over here with Cairo. <laughs> what is this spawn for Arabia? This is like, okay, sure, he has, you know, like, oh man. What is, after we saw that amazing, is that a technical? I don't think so. One, two, three. No, it's not a technical. It's not the thing. He can actually settle the Wita, right? So he can settle one over here to the west side on the aluminium. He can settle one on the 2-2. Two, two, and then he can go and move one, two, three, four, five. And the, on the sixth turn, he can actually settle the Wita. That is not, not a technical. And yes, this is a good TT. This is definitely good TT. We got quite a few uh, patches. Uh, sorry, quite a few uh, culture points. We got quite a few gold points here. Definitely good TT. Let's see who's here. Spain does have a continent split. Yes, he does to the northeast. And uh, he's also going to get an ally here. Pawn maker to the west side. He does have Indonesia on the same coast to trade with. I'm pretty sure they don't want to mess this up. Mashup Ahit also. Cliffs of Dover east side. A counter settle there. Uh, Wonder settle. Portugal is going to be on the same seas. Oh my god. Portugal going to be whipped. That's going to be a problem. Uh, who, who actually... Remap the first one. Do we remember who remapped the first one? Was it actually the left team or the right team? Like, was it the Portugal team? I think it was Portugal. Or, or no, it was a Kublai like China team, right? Okay. So maybe there is a remap token on Portugal. Because honestly, if he doesn't see this, he's going to be in a world of hurt. Oh my God. Indonesia and uh, Spain on the same coast with uh, Portugal not actually benefiting from um, uh, externals. Well, I guess he can... Um, Oh, he can't even put a city on the east side. He has Kublai Khan China on the same island. Oh no, this is this is a disaster for him. Marvin over here. Oh my God, Marvin. This, this reminds me of Home Alone, by the way. Do you know Marv from Home Alone, the like the tall guy? <laughs> Hope. Good evening, sir. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bienvenue. Lisa the Wizard, always wanting to try text to image generator. I'm hosting on. Uh, wait, you actually are hosting a text to image generator? Can you like send me the link, please, in private? Please, 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 please. Um, we do have also England with the easy peasy continent split on the east side. He can get a free uh, trade route. And of course, uh, you do see him uh, getting a settler here in uh, three turns. And who's this Zulu? Zulu is going to be really close to England. Not a problem, though. They are allies. Um, Zulu doesn't have target. Oh, he has target in the form of pawn maker. Oh, no. The eight pashers, the eight food, eight gold. Paradise, it's gone. Disappeared in, into the void. We're not going to see it played out. Oh, no. I can't. Man, I don't think there can be a better spawn for Creed than, like a better bonus for Creed than this, honestly. Like, uh, let, let's see. But uh, like for this time, it's going to be like from, it's going to drop from like very high up to like tiny very tiny over there you know down in the bottom that is that hurts that hurts yes yes definitely that hurts what Cree doesn't know doesn't hurt <laughs> he never saw it oh my god man we should tell him about, i'm pretty sure they're gonna watch the stream back and he was gonna be like shoot <laughs> no what is this uh, asgorn calling out for boomer must remap yeah 
Yeah, they did. They did. And I think we can actually finish. Uh, oh, no. We got to disconnect here. Steps. I heard the disconnect, boys. Now begins your greatest quest. During the lobby, there was a big disconnect. <laughs> Yog Trial. You got to come back, bro. We, we believe in you. Uh, now the real game can begin. Yeah, we can actually finish this um, prediction and of course uh, go for the two remaps. So somebody's gonna get a lot of points. Who was the big pointer? Who's the big pointer? Somebody just got a lot of points. Two winner. There's somebody who put Cleo's in again, dropping ten points and winning nine hundred. Really, bro? You did it. You did it. We shall bear the pain for Cree. <laughs> yeah uh, uh, yeah exactly also a small soldier asking for the team labels yeah i guess uh, this is a good moment to uh, put those uh, team labels on so guernaros is boomer right well uh, boomer and let me actually take a look here that's the right team boomer apms and on the left team we do have uh, lizard the wizard uh, this is 7c sir this is we got well i guess it does look like more of a well not really a tilted axis but yeah it's definitely uh, a much more broken apart um how we should call the leisure yo lurons de la central uh yo lurons maybe just yo yo I have a problem. Joyeux Laurence. Joy Lou. Okay, yeah, yeah. Joy Lou. Yeah, works, works. Joy Lou. I like, I like. There we go. So just need to center them. And there we go. There we go. Okay, we got uh, everybody joining. Yogdrial is uh, connecting, I hope. I hope he's not gonna desync. Oh, still joining. Okay. There we go. Got a notification that he joined. Uh, rough spawn for Spain. Yeah, he does uh, need a continent split to go on the other side. Of course, he's going to need the shipbuilding over here to do that. Uh, looks like he's going to have quite a few cities to settle. One and... Yeah, two, three. Okay, that's enough cities over here. Um, we do have him with a bit of coast to the north. And we do need to check if he's gonna have uh, anybody else on the, um, the seas over here. Well, it is gonna be Indonesia on the same seas, so that's gonna be fine. They're gonna actually make an economic uh, trade zone over here between their lands. That's uh, that's definitely gonna be good. Um, we do need to also take a look at his uh, resources, but uh, at the same time, I need to click on this button. There we go. Uh, he does have an option to go for a two-one, uh, a two-three-one ivory tile uh, to settle. Of course, uh, getting himself that extra uh, production in the capital is going to be nice, but that's going to also block him from another settle. He doesn't know about this, so this is kind of you know this is the game actually tricking him. Oh man, he got tricked. Oh, he did. He he got tricked so hard actually but it's fine like this wasn't a great city anyway but it was an extra city he moved away from the fresh water to go for the ivory tile it is what it is man you got jibated jibated third thigh uh, we do have him with um, quite a few other cities uh, going for the north over here it does look like he's gonna get an iron tile uh, in the third ring he's probably gonna put a city right close to it and he does have horses in the southeast not bad uh, quite a few also fish tiles and i'm pretty sure he's not actually gonna get the uh, god of the sea here usually when indonesia is in the game he is gonna get a guaranteed god of the sea or at least a pantheon, you know. Uh, another arena, yeah, uh, seven seas, uh, Joy Lu, rough ones for Spain. Uh, if, if it's not a technical, uh, if yes, it's not a technical. Yeah, yeah, probably it's not a technical. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. You are correct over there. Um, we do have Indonesia Thor tank with um, two ivory tiles uh, to the northeast. It looks like uh, he's gonna get a two one. Did he move from the other two one? Why did he move from the? I don't know. But anyway, would have been. Um, I, I'm not sure if I if I know why he moved honestly like did he move from the 2-1 to the 2-1 or did he move from the 2-1 inland well I don't think Indonesia can spawn inland right 
Yeah, weird. This is very weird. I, I'm confused about this. But anyway, let's move forward because I feel, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to blush. I start blushing soon. We do have him with a power har powerful harbor over here. Uh, plus four. Looks like he's going to get uh, some horses from the southeast and uh, he is going to get uh, quite a few other settles over here on this uh, coast. Uh, city state to kill Antararivo and uh, or Granada and or Granada depends. And I don't see anybody actually on the same uh, landmass that he could go against. Um, but I do see Torres is going to be right here to the southeast, not that far away from him with uh, two four tiles waiting for him to improve and of course uh, two threes uh, as well with a volcano. Maybe that actually is some lava, get some volcanic soil and then you know just sprinkle the salt everywhere we do have um, iron tile three tiles apart from his capital to the north uh, that's going to be quite expensive to gather and the, uh, the beginning i don't think anybody's actually going to use iron here they're probably going to try to uh, focus on their sim oh this this is a technical though if those other ones weren't technicals this is a technical the the big question is if he's asking for a technical harentros are you gonna ask for a technical or not it's not a technical wait cc pyro is calling out a not a technical wait oh oh it's two other series sorry sorry it's it's two other series or is it three other series because we have like multiple rules in cpl is three other series in this one is uh, two other series oh okay okay so he's two other series okay got it got it got it sorry sorry i remember i'm sorry so it's two other cities not three other cities okay a very south spawn yeah okay okay got it thank you merci beaucoup uh, we do have uh, sheep tiles over here mm, that he could improve his uh, finding out uh, his predicament over here uh, lisbon is gonna need to uh, some help and of course i'm pretty sure he's gonna call up uh, pebbleton over here uh, from ulundi to uh, put a coastal city so he can trade uh, cap to cap and i'm certain that he's gonna figure it out soon uh, he doesn't have anybody to go against on these seas and it does seem like the map is in kind of putting a lot of um challenges for the players in this side i you know what we're coming up oh my god okay okay like i see i see Cree over here and i'm so tempted to actually take a look at his uh, pastures and camps because honestly it couldn't get better than the last one but i want to see oh no no not that we agree these cities will be horrible we, he can uh, be against indonesia if he goes on the east coast um if indonesia is going to move on the east coast yeah and i i guess it does have indonesia does have a good incentive to go there torres del Paine is over there on the east coast not to mention has uh, quite a few other cities as well yeah we'll see how uh, portugal is going to need to play this out and i do see him pumping out a settler in four he does have available horses in the south quite a bit of iron in the southwest and um, i'm pretty sure he's going to need to settle a city there um we do need to also take a look at uh, zulu and uh, let's uh, take a look over here at zulu we do have uh, four turns for a settler uh Ulundi did settle on a 2-2 base does have quite a few other 2-2s um iron tile to the southeast and i do see he's uh, gonna benefit from a bit of culture from the amber tiles over there to the northwest horses to the west side second ring that's gonna be not expensive at all and um, chocolate hills oh my oh that's gonna be nice that is gonna be nice actually he can uh, get his oh wait that's a long time that's one two three four five and a six well that's not that actually that's not that bad he could go and settle the wheat tile even get a temenanki can you imagine if he goes there and gets a temenanki guys big brain strategy over here get chocolate heels get you know you go there you ask your allies for all of their gold you buy out all of the tiles and get a temenanki and then when your allies are dying because they don't have gold you make pikachu face and you said guys this is an amazing city you gotta admit <laughs> you know <laughs> anyway we got him with a setter coming up in three we're gonna need to see what he's gonna do he definitely found out about chocolate hills and he's gonna get to um uh, get that um uh, i'll say hut over there and by elizabeth he does have a city state to kill as well nazca um to the south it looks like he's gonna have an ally saladin over here is gonna be um a trade partner at some point uh yogdriel and does have quite a few mountains for himself this is a much better array of land tiles for him to settle all of those holy sites and the campuses and the uh, madrasas and everything and then we had the last time like, so, that's so few right so few uh exactly right? if he's got has the right idea you know like you're dead 
but look at my land, bro. It is so good. <laughs> you know? So England is uh, one versus two in the sea with Cree far in her uh, back. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, yeah, England is going to be a one versus two over here. Uh, well, it, it, I guess it all depends on Indonesia if he's going to settle on the east or not. And we're going to see when, he's, um, when we're going to come back to it uh, soon. Looking at Cairo, he does have a horse tile to the west side to improve, does have an iron tile, three tiles out to the south, does have a 2-2 two -two base as well and a setter coming up in one. Uh, he has been working 2-2 two -two tiles now, I'm not so sure he actually has animal husbandry, usually Arabia does go for, oh he's going animal husbandry next turn, usually Arabia does go for astrology rather than anything else and uh, we, sh we should have seen actually a holy side here, this is surprising he didn't pre-place it you know you want to pre-place it as fast as possible so you don't uh, increase the cost there uh, anyway we don't need to see what he's uh, gonna do has quite a few other settles that he could go for uh, fresh water from uh, rivers uh, and of course uh, some uh, one tile lakes over here to the south i think i forgot to no i didn't i didn't actually iron and the horses are over here Cree. this is Cree. we got one two that's it three Oh, any other city? What's the second option here? There's, there's no second option. Oh man, that that's just that's that's bad. That's just bad. Hmm. I was so excited for that. Honestly, I was so excited for that 8 gold, 8 food trade route settle for Kree. Can you imagine? I think he would have just won the game right there. You know, put a city there, poof, you win. Oh well, it is what it is. Now he's going to pump out a settler in one. Mixi Wachik is um, going to go for to his uh, fourth population soon. We do have him working some bananas. That's at least going to be um, good. He's going to get some extra food and that's the reason he's actually uh, growing so fast in the population. He does at least have uh, three pastures over here to work, and I do see uh, he's uh, gonna get quite a few cities with extra gold. These um, the diamond tiles are gonna be uh, quite nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, he's gonna have Ingl England to uh, go against to the northeast, and of course, as you can see over here, uh, Guernaroth is uh, figuring out where Cree uh, is. Uh, yeah, there we go. He. he he knows, he knows. Uh, we do have him also with Arabia to the south. I think Arabia, yeah, Arabia is actually an opponent. So we might see them poking at, against each other sometime. Um, Kree does have a warrior actually to escort his uh, settler. That's uh, actually quite a good tactic. And I would imagine he's going to go south over here. And that would be the best uh, choice that he has from all of these cities. That, well, he wants to go south, but he probably doesn't know about this scout. Oh no, where are you going? Hello? Is he going here? Mm, I guess he wants the banana. He wants banana. I was thinking exactly where the scout is. It's probably the best choice, right? Because of these, um, these tiles. Do they know? Yeah, they know. They know. Okay, they know. What happened to this scout? Was there a scout here? Maybe he moved back. Anyway. It looks like there's also going to be a wander to the southwest. Uh, in the capital, he does have forces to the north. So that's going to be two tiles out and an iron tile, three tiles out to the northeast. Not bad. Gonna get another settler in six. And I do notice he kind of ran out of tiles to use, by the way. Um, he doesn't have an extra two, two to work in the capital. And he's probably working a three, one banana. Um, definitely would need the extra production over there if he wants to get settlers faster every 10 counts here and you do def you do want to get that uh, faster uh kree is marvel oh right oh okay okay uh, zulu versus uh, oki near the coco near the coco wait coco 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 <gasps> We Pebbleton, hello sir, how are you doing? I, I see you have a little bit of trouble, are you okay bro? Oh no, Pebbleton. I mean, I think the Okchitao can't really get there, right? Pebbleton just needs to move the settler on the 1-1 one -one and then settle the wheat tile and basically sacrifice the scout. It's fine, it should be fine, it should be fine. Just don't move the scout bro, just don't move the scout. Wah, wah, wah. 
This one already attacked, so he doesn't have an extra attack on it. I put my glasses. Give me a sec. Yeah, there we go. He moves the settler, and then boom, he's gonna get uh, attacked. No? What? What? Oh my god! I can't believe it. So. <laughs> Okay, so what happened here was actually Zulu got extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. So, I, I, oh my god, if he messed this up for like a half second, he would have lost the settler. I cannot believe. Yeah, I know, right? With the most insane first move. So, I thought he's actually gonna leave that scout as a block to the Kree scout. Because he needed to save the settler, right? It was all about the settler. But then he actually shifted the, both the scout and the settler on the same tile, un unlocked the turn, and then settled in place while the Kree scout was like, Poof! Bing, 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 bing. you know, he was like over there. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I had. Bro. Man. That takes something to do it. You you gotta admit, guys, that takes a lot of something to do something like this. You know? A lot of something. This was not Bubba APM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And man, I, yeah, that, that is true. I don't know, man. I, it looks like they're growing out of the boomer phase. Let, let's see what's going on here. We do have England. We got Kree again near a scout, uh, near a settler, but it looks like uh, this time the settler is escorted by a warrior. Uh, London does have a trader coming up in two. Looks like uh, he's gonna get a 3 1 1 fish to work there. Uh, he, he does not have a second continent, easy continent to settle, but he can go, of course, a uh, Pangea and Ur if he wants to over here. Actually, he has three of them. He can go uh, and take out Candy as well. Very nice, very nice. We do need to see um, him working the banana, getting some extra food in there, making a roadway for his uh, settler towards uh, the northwest. And it looks like he is uh, eyeballing this uh, Okchi town. He wants to take it out uh, so he can have a clean road to everywhere else and, of course, uh, be peaceful over here. Uh, we do need to see his strategic resources. Looks like he's going to have iron to the southwest. I don't see horses anywhere for him. Neither does he have horses in the Ma city of Manchester. I do see an extra culture tile here, and this is a marble tile that he actually settled on a 2-1. to one. Not bad. Um, he's probably working the 2-2 two as well to the northwest and going for the builder first. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, looks like uh, he's also going to get quite a few cities here to the southwest. And just like Chad pointed out, we do have him in a 2-1 versus one situation against Spain. Uh, Tertha over here is um, gonna get some boats out and of course uh, right after he saw Cree uh, fighting England he knows he knows his opponent is on the same seas he's gonna try to get in there as soon as possible I do have to remind of course um, everybody that England does get, get to benefit from oh no oh my god oh my god if only If only the Chris Okchita moved. If only. But anyway, it is what. Yeah. Uh, he moved. Uh, Spain moved, actually. Spain got debated. There was. Uh, he spawned over here on the 2 1, and then he moved on the Ivory Tile that gave him a 2 3 1 base, but he doesn't have any. Um, I would say. Uh, any settled to on the southeast. It is what it is. Uh, let's see who's in the south here. We got Kublai China Marvin. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this this might actually come out to be a three versus one against England because Kublai China is also in the south and Marvin uh, by the looks of it is uh, gonna try to go on a coast here. I'm not sure if it's the cattle tile or somewhere else, but I would assume the cattle tile is gonna be his third one. Uh, Beijing is gonna get a monument out in one. He's going for Magnus internals and I do see him uh, benefiting from horses in the capital with uh, no Oh, iron. Oh, iron is uh, over here in the south. A third ring. It's going to be expensive, but still, it's uh, going to be it. Uh, actually, is he is he going for max series or best series? It looks like he's going for max series here. Okay, it's fine. Max series works as well. Um, 
definitely could have uh, optimized this a little bit better. It's fine, it's fine. Um, it's a crisis. Yeah, Chris is. Chris is. Oh no. Oh no. England. I hope you know what you're doing, bro. Gwerner Roth over here is the host, so at least he does have host advantage. I would assume he definitely knows how to use it. I think China only settles a few coastals as uh, does Cree for naval trade routes and they hope Spain and uh, Gitarja can hold off Viki. At the Menanke race, uh, we do have it in Menanke race. Wait. No, don't tell me Zulu did not go in Temenanki. Zulu pottery coming up next time. Okay. And uh, who did you say? Uh, China? China? Longsi can get it, right? Yeah. Longsi can definitely get it, but he just moved his trader to Chengdu, and this is actually surprising because we, uh, we, when you want to build a wonder, especially something like a Temenaki, you do want uh, as much production as possible in that city, and uh, something like a trader over here would have uh, meant uh, quite a few turns uh, taken away from a Temenaki. It is what it is. Yeah, we're probably going to need to uh, see who's going to get it, but I think, definitely think, Endonda Kusuka needs to go with Temenaki. Come on. Put it down, bro. Next turn, Pottery coming up. Oh, he does need writing. So maybe he's going to go there. He does know right now. He doesn't have anybody to go against on this uh, on this coast. Well, I guess you can count uh, Cree. But it's going to take a while until um, anybody's actually going to get two units here. So it should be fine. Definitely there's enough time to go for uh, Etemenaki if you want to. He does have Ikandas coming off from Ulundi, Nobamba going for monuments, and Okusuka probably just finished the monument anyway. We can actually see it. Yeah, there we go. You see the tiny monument? It's there. It is there. Okay. Um, let's... We're turn 22, and I do believe we need to take a look at uh, all of the... Uh, by the way, do we have these things? Is, is that what I'm seeing every time? Is that these things? Um, we do need to take a look at all of the city-states in the game. There are quite a few culture and science ones. So Mitla with Taruga and Anchan will be the ones uh, providing the science bonuses. Looks like Antanarivo with Mohenjo-Daro and Villiers will be the ones for culture. And we do also have Granada with Enga, Zargamo and Valeta for uh, the um, uh, military bonuses. And of course... Um, we, we do need to see who's going to actually get them. Uh, Candy with uh, Yerevan. And uh, Nazca. I'm, uh, I, I started over there a little bit because I don't know exactly who picked up Nazca. That is something. Oh, well. Um, Nazca over here is uh, going to give anybody that's in the desert uh, a decent advantage. A bit of food and a, and a faith. Uh, there's no industrial city state and there's no gold city state in the game. Well, it is what it is. You know, you have to make do. Uh, you, you you have to do it with uh, what you have. Take side writing coming up into from Pebbleton. It doesn't look like at the moment Marvin is going for writing, so we're probably gonna see Ulu, uh, Zulu over here get the first one. Uh, Tertha just got a relic. That is that is Spain getting a relic. Not bad, actually, not bad. He still is working to settle his third city. He did get it, but unfortunately, of course, it takes a while to get there. Uh, he still doesn't have shipbuilding yet. He's um, I'm gonna need to go uh, the navigation first to put down those harbors and then get shipbuilding on the west side. Definitely getting a second continent here would be quite nice. Uh, Marvin already has writing, he's going for currency. Wait, really? So why didn't he settle this? How do you know he has already? Oh, 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 right. Wow. Yes, you are correct. Yes, he already has writing. I was confused he didn't actually get the uh, Temenagi. Why did he not settle it? Come on. Come on, bro. You need to settle it. You're going like pre place, pre place. Come on. You know, like reveal your hand. Reveal yourself. Oh my god. And yes, how could I have remembered? Writing is on the way to currency. Thank you so much, Goober Dragon, for pointing that out. Uh, Big Z also calling out that uh, not a single industrial or uh, straight. Yeah, indeed. Project Cisco. Hey, good evening, sir. 2050k to become a VIP and the Nightbot gets it for free. Poor Cisco. Oh, kick double. Yeah, yeah. Nightbot is uh, definitely getting verified over there. Uh, England hard taking uh, Celestial or no? I guess uh, he did manage to get the builder out, so maybe he is gonna get to improve some of his uh, resources. Looks like he did just get his fish tile, improved the four to one, and uh, we're going to, need to see if he's gonna get quickly another one. Uh, what is he? Two turns from Celestial? Wow, 
Wow. Wow. Yeah. I don't know, man. 20, 10, 24 solicit navigation. Looks like everybody's getting uh, around that. Uh, what's Indo start looking like? Indo, 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 Indo is he went full on the west side and looks like he's getting got of the sea. We start to see quite a few pantheons uh, coming out from the players and chosen by the players. And uh, at the moment, Thor tank is uh, keeping west. Um, quite a surprise. We do have Portugal to the northeast, and of course, you do see him at the moment he's uh, gonna need to ask Zulu to put a city on the coast. He's working internals. Lisbon to Vissio, yeah, he's working internals at the moment, going for Magnus there in the city of Lisbon, and uh, did manage to get the two other cities, he's getting his boats to the south, trying to figure out what's going on in, in, on the coast, and of course, uh, see if he actually needs to build a navy here. Um, wh what are the pantheons? Let's actually take a look at the uh, others, uh, we do have uh, pantheons, uh, religious settlements coming up for uh, Spain, city patron goddess for Portugal, Arabia did go for fertility rights, getting an extra builder and of course uh, getting the food from the maize, from the wheat tiles. Uh, we do have Goddess of Festivals coming up over here for Cree. Goddess of Festivals. Wait, this is the plantation pantheon, right? So extra culture on plantations, so bananas, one, two, three, four, five with the cocoa. Uh, going up for commercial, six, seven... Okay, eight, nine. Okay, no, that's not bad, not bad. Uh, that's a decent amount of culture that he could uh, get with the Pantheon. Not really ideal, of course. Most of the time, he does go for something else. But I guess uh, something else got taken away from him. Uh, China still didn't put that at Menanki down. And it looks like uh, he's going for a fourth settle here. Uh, he does have a builder coming up from Longs in next turn. And uh, no Pantheon yet for him. No, Yogtriel. Yogtriel does, have, does seem to have a problem keeping his connection. Uh, God of War and Plunder coming up over here on England. Emergency sub. Emergency sub, guys. I go sub. I go sub. Uh, Indo and Spain to take on uh, Victoria. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Maraxu, it's the Seven Seas, uh, and welcome. Bienvenue. Okay, we got uh, Moksha coming up in two turns for uh, London. God of War and Plunder is going to give him a decent amount of advantages when it comes to getting those admirals. And uh, he's going to need a lot of boats also. I'm actually quite worried for him. He's alone versus four here. Four sharks going against him. That's not going to be ideal. Definitely with uh, Cree on land, with um, China to the south, with uh, Spain across the seas here and Indonesia. He's going to have uh, his hands full. I'm quite surprised we don't see more boats coming out from Indonesia to take out Antanarivo, honestly. Well, it is what it is. Uh, would it be fair to say that uh, finding Victoria is going to be easier said than done? I guess. Uh, Irelux Maximus, uh, Cree B3, turn 24 Spain, uh, B3, turn 38 out tempo, will be hard for Les Joyeux Lurons, yeah. Oh, well, I think defending Spain would be quite hard, but I think they're gonna, they already know about England here. Uh, you, you can see Spain already has galleys uh, going against him. Those uh, Cree scouts uh, at the beginning managed to uh, focus on England. Oh, uh, I'm... A bit worried about his ability to get the harbors out if these uh, Spanish galleys get in there fast enough this is going to be a problem and of course he does need the harbor so he can pump out boats uh, he's probably going to want and to turn them anyway so at least that mm. oh man still no Etemenanki why no Etemenanki bro this city lady of the region marshes here Ascorn thank you so much for the for sub Tier one sub, thank you so much, sir. We got Asgorn over here. Five turns from a settler in the city and then Dakusuka has the technology. No, he doesn't actually writing in one turn. No, never mind, never mind. He's getting it. He's getting it next turn. Yeah. Isn't I know. Well, let's see next turn. Let's see next turn. Writing coming up. Pebbleton knows the way, man. Knows the way. Like honestly, after those pro moves over there. Yeah. 
You know, he knows the way. He knows the way. He's, let's see it. Pebbleton, let's see it. Temenaki go down, bro. Show us the way. Lady of the Reeds and Marshes at Temenaki, Chocolate Hills City. Who would have thought? Five city opening on Zulu? Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta get big, bro. You, you gotta go big or go home, you know, one of the two. From what I understand, this is the whole tournament here. You go big or go home. I, I do have to ask a few questions for the referees here because I wasn't that illuminated by the, um, uh, what I should say, um, aware of uh, what are the rules over here for uh, the qualifiers. As in, I don't know how many teams get what. I know there are quite a few spots that are available in D1, D2, D3. And um, I guess all of the new teams go to D3 anyway. So I guess the qualifier is probably going to be for D1 or D2. And uh, according to where they actually get um, over there, they should go for it, right? So I'm not so sure uh, how it is. You can ask and I will answer. Oh, thank you. So the, the biggest thing we need to know here on the stream we need to know what are they fighting for they, these are nine teams from what i understand in the qualifiers and they are fighting for something that fight uh, do we have like a ladder do we have like spots assigned spots the first one is going in d1 the second time the second the third and the fourth will go in d2 and the third one or like all of the other ones will go into the third division or how it is they play for a D3 plays, okay. Uh, Hagen TV, good evening, sir. Uh, we're casting, as you can see over here in the title, Joel Lurons de la Central versus Boomer APMs. Uh, first place, the other would be D. Oh, oh, hello, Tardigate. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. How are you doing? Checking out your competition over here. I see. Okay, I see how it is. Um, give me a second. I saw something in um, uh, my private messaging, and I do want to uh, quickly, quickly, quickly answer this. There was a link somewhere that we need to answer. Give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Oh, to, 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 to. where is it? Where is it? There's a. Oh man, it's been quite some time since we've seen these links. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. It's been quite some time, actually, since we've seen. Okay, there we go. Found it. No, still no Etemenaki from Pebbleton, by the way. Still no Etemenaki. We saw him discover that um, technology and still no Etemenaki. What did you do? And Dakusuka, bro. Come on, Pebbleton. We are talking about you here. Uh, okay, they're all new teams and they play for D3, one spot for D3, the other will probably go D4. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so it's uh, one spot for D3 and everybody's for D4. Got it. So many teams, man. So many teams. That's amazing. Um, when that, it's also calling out over here, c'est vrai. Uh, mais pour l'instant, les info qu'on ça. Okay, it's uh, true. I want instant info or something uh, that you're giving. Okay. Uh, and as one is, yeah, yeah, he is French. Hope is French. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's, he has been revealed over here. Hope, you have been discovered, sir. It looks like uh, we do have a religion in the game, Arabia, coming up over here. A choral music with the lay ministry. Shrines and temples will provide him the culture equal to the intrinsic faith output of, uh, of them. And of course, the lay ministry coming up with the extra faith and the culture, respectively. 
We do have him uh, with uh, three cities. Uh, Sana to the um, east side uh, didn't actually get um, converted yet, but it's gonna go there. And um, by the looks of it, he's pumping out uh, two settlers, one from Cairo, one from Medina. Uh, we do have him with a decent amount of fresh water to the southeast, and I do believe we're gonna need to start uh, checking out their era score here. You know, just to make sure everybody's gonna get there. We got 20 out of 19, 24, 23, 31, 27, 32, 26, and 26. Very nice. Come on, bro. Like the, the Endo Takusuka. Endo Takusuka. Where is your Etemenanki? Why no Etemenanki? Is it gonna be built here? No, still no. Actually, China was the one um, that didn't get a Pantheon earlier. And it looks like he uh, chose to go for Open Sky. He did go for a four city opening. And by Luz uh, putting down uh, quite a few commercials. You know, that's the China way. He's gonna get extra culture from these improved pastures. He does have uh, two horse styles improved. Gonna get some more to the north. And I do uh, three horse styles improved actually with uh, cattle tiles. Not bad, not bad. Okay, um, in the great people screen, we do have Coleus as the first uh, merchant. I do see Hypatia is also going to be the one, uh, the first the great scientist, but it looks like nobody's actually wanting to um, go for it really quickly. Uh, we do have um, Themistocles as the first great admiral, and um, of course, that's the one uh, giving the quad dreams extra production. England is already on two great admiral points at 10. It uh, looks like um, England also managed to push back uh, Spain. While Spain is probably going to take out one of the galleys of uh, England, depending on uh, the first moves here. We do need to see what Guernaroth is going to do. Oh, shift entering away. He knew he was getting in trouble. Uh, we do have more settlers coming up from Guernaroth and putting down a Gavron Plaza in the city of Manchester. Interesting uh, choice, not going from the cap there. And to see he's um, getting quite a few Royal Navy dockers for the free boats and of course the extra gold per turn. Uh, he's also working his lighthouses now trying to get uh, extra trade routes and we do see him having quite a few units um, going towards Cree here. Uh, Cree did pick up Goddess of Festivals earlier and now he's getting that extra culture from his uh, improved plantations. He does have uh, two of them from what I can see going for commercials and uh, needing to get more settlers. So two more settlers coming up from Mikisiv Wachik and Ahtaka Koop. Um okay. uh, Hope is uh, saying that he is um uh his uh, referee for the mini tournament and uh, for the and uh, if anybody has a question about the challenge on do not uh, hesitate to ask. Uh Maraxu, there is no French cast, I'm sorry. Uh I, I'm, I guess there were no uh, French um, streamers uh, going for this. Can we see the eels? Wh which eels? Yes, you can see the eels. We got Marvin over here going for Pembrush and Voice. Uh, well, actually, wait a second. Well, next turn, we're going to see that Pembrush and Voice is on 7 and 18, coming up with the extra culture from all of these pastures. And looks like Moksha did establishing Chengdu. That's actually quite, quite nice and quite early. We're going to need to see now what they're going to go for as uh, era score bonuses. I'm pretty sure they, or era bonuses, because I'm pretty sure everybody got their golden ages and they're going to need to pick between uh, Penbrush and Voice, Monumentality, or uh, Free Inquiry, or even if they want to go for the Exodus of Evangelist. But nobody's really going that way, you know, like most of the time. We're calling it out, but nobody's going that way. The fourth one is, n yeah, it's not an option at all, actually. Come on, Etemenanki, please. Still building a settler. Oh my god. Still building a settler. I guess he's taking it slow, boys. He's taking it slow. Um, don't worry, it's not a problem for me. Okay. Uh, 30 seconds in French. I. Uh, yeah, that, that's going to be a problem. I don't even, like, my ideas are running away from me. When I, whenever I'm thinking I need to talk in French, my ideas are just... Phew! flying away uh, I can't definitely talk in Romanian for 30 seconds so as I've been in Chefak Boetsi in Zima Asta pe această hartă sunt două echipe um, formate noi în um, divizia din um, Franța în divizile din Franța avem uh, de asemenea um, <laughs> o întrebare mare dacă Zulu o să reușească să construiască Temenanchi cu orașul lui din uh, dealurile cu ciocolată. Uh, o să vedem uh, cum uh, Anglia o să încerce să se 
APR împotriva trei națiuni foarte, foarte, o patru națiuni foarte puternice, China și Spania cu Indonesia. Indonezia. Indonezia pare că o să stea pe, partea, pe flancul de vest și nu o să se lupte deloc cu Portugalia. Ok. Um, you understood some words. Uh, chocolate temerache in France. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was... So, basically, what I said was, uh, let's see how um, the new boys are going to do in this um, uh, qualifier in the, for the squadrons. Uh, we do have... For the French squadrons, actually. Uh, we do have... Um, these new teams are fighting each other here we're going to need to see uh, the big question the big question was if we're going to see Zulu over here get the Temenaki on end of Dakusuka uh, we also need to see if um, England is going to manage to defend himself against four opposing nations very strong nations Cree with uh, China with uh, Spain and of course Indonesia and the last um, sentence was um, Indonesia He's keeping on the west coast and uh, he's probably not going to get to fight uh, Portugal because of that reason Uh, yes, Golden. So let's go. Marvin is going to go with uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden. He's 8 science and 20 culture. Actually, he went up only 2 culture because he only built one single district. Oh, that's bad, bro. We got him going for a government plaza. And of course, uh, the extra culture is going to work out wonders for him from this um, open sky. I really love this, by the way, the extra culture. We got Kree over here with a pen brush and voice uh, golden age. It looks like he's on 8 and 16, uh, starting to go for more settlers. And he does have a few pesky English warriors and uh, scouts uh, coming around to the north. He's going to need to take care of them. Uh, he does have uh, commercials finishing up from three of his cities, but first he wants to expand and then, of course, uh, finish those up. Uh, Thor tank with a pen brush and voice uh, golden age. He does have similar size with 14 culture. Naturally, not that big. And I gotta say, um, I can't. I don't actually see him uh, going uh, quickly for campuses. Usually with um, Indonesia, the way to go is uh, to try to get campuses at the same time as harbors. And of course, uh, you can see he needs a little bit more help in the population screen. No, 58. Thank you so much for the 13 months. Oh my God. Thank you so much, sir. And welcome. Welcome. Uh, this is a good start. Yeah, that's a good start. That's going indeed. Uh, Terthai, we got the uh, 14 science and 8 culture for Philip II. We did have him with a bit of a problem here going for the city of Valencia to the north. So it took him a while, but he did manage to settle it. Now Madrid is going to pump out another settler, and I believe he already got uh, shipbuilding. He's going to get um, to settle this city over here to the west side. Hey, thank you so much. Oh my god, thank you, sir. Mendor and Rupert Fed, thank you so much for joining us. We got new for gifting two tier one subs. Thank you, sir. Merci beaucoup. Uh, harbors first with Indonesia strange why not uh, campus yeah I know right it's a bit weird but I guess uh, he did have a bit of a problem with the food generation uh, and of course the housing uh, related he needed to get the housing for the fourth pop to actually settle those uh, campuses so we'll see we'll see what he's gonna do here uh, he does have uh, relatively okay ish positions for those um, campuses we just need to see him uh, putting them down and did he even see it? oh come on I hope he saw Torres like come on this is Yeah, he saw Torres. Okay, he knows. He knows. Yeah, okay. Still no Etemenanki? Still no Etemenanki? No! No! If you, if you, you, you guys can't see, but I'm just like wiggling my, my feet in the air right now, like beneath the, <laughs> the desk over there. I'm like, no, what is this? <laughs> you know? No, where is that Etemenanki, bro? I candy, we want the candy. Oh, and plug in in Moksha in there. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is, man. You know, we could have had it. We were just this close to have it, but he didn't go for it. Pebbleton. Pebbleton. We need to concentrate, guys. We need to concentrate. We need to gather our strength. You know? Like, get all of that mental power going in there. And we're gonna send those positive fives to Pebbleton. And at some point in the game, he's gonna receive them from the, you know, from the universe. And he's gonna build a Temenanki. You're gonna see. He's gonna go for it. 
We do have uh, Pebbleton going for a Pembrash and Voice uh, Golden Age, and uh, it does seem like uh, he is going for that fifth city. Uh, he's also going to get quite a few builders to improve his land. It looks like he does have five turns for Odin Chamber coming off in his uh, capital with uh, Governor Magnus. Uh, going for Moksha in his uh, northern city, the one with um, uh, Chocolate Hills and where he did build an uh, Ikanda anyway. Uh, usually, of course, that's the way to go with uh, Zulu. You do get to settle quite a few cities. You go for your Ikandas, uh, try to get the buildings in them for the extra. Um, culture for the extra gold and of course benefit from um, penbrush and voice alongside uh, we do also see uh, spain is fighting of uh, England over here between his seas there are quite a few boats uh, coming up from Spain uh, going against uh, England setting the tone over here splitting the land in half we do need to see uh, when the third thigh is going to manage to get uh, his cities uh, settled and of course uh, how is he going to try to plan this out on another continent he does have a second continent over here to the west side which will allow him to actually switch that magnets in the new continent get those trade routes going uh, between his cities and of course the magnet city and build it strong of well, I'm pretty sure he's not setting that. <gasps> Great path. Who's Yogtria? Uh, Arabia. Okay. That's actually our next uh, stop over here. Cairo is going to get Great path. Um, with uh, Moksha established, we do have uh, Yogtriel on 9 signs with 22 culture going for more holy signs from the city of Hatton. Uh, he does have fertility rights, uh, going for more builders. He's also going to get a very good campus over here. There we go from Sanaa. He's going to get a plus, uh, what is this, a plus 5? Plus 4. Plus four, yeah, plus four campus. Uh, it looks like there was a, also a rainforest fire to the southeast of Sana, which did improve the bananas and the two um, flat forest tiles over here to the south. Has Moksha in the capital city of Cairo with the government plaza that did not get um, improved yet. We do have another campus coming up for Medina. This is going to be another one of these uh, plus fours next to the geothermal and, of course, the city center with the holy site. And the fourth city going somewhere on that amber tile by the looks of it has a very strong settle over here as well by the way next to those um, cities he needs to be careful how he's going to plan out his coastals and i do believe portugal is going to be on the same sea so he could actually trade with him the big thing is arabia is not really going to want to get trade routes so that's going to be a big booboo big booboo here for him um okay can settle a settler last move first move uh steel oh steel wait okay where, where, where? Okay, okay, okay. Where did you see that? Mm. Oh, oh, here? Maybe? Did he? I don't think he did. These were four, right? Oh, by the way, on Yogdale, we do have him on 19 Faith a turn. It doesn't like he's going to be a strong monumentality. And, uh, well, we're going to need to see what he's uh, going to do to get some more. Of course, uh, building more holy sites, getting more uh, shrines and temples would be the way to go. Oh, he didn't go on him. Okay, okay. Uh, there are two super high food farms, uh, triangles in Arabia camp. He might be able to have some growth for commercials. You're talking about these ones over here. Yeah, the, the two wheat tiles over here to the north are going to be amazing. Of course, he has some citrus there. It looks like he's um, he got pillaged by the north of Cairo. There was a holy site. And uh, I'm pretty sure the, this is the Okchita we're getting in there. And of course, um, getting to burn all of that faith. We do have uh, Harentrop, Harentros actually with um, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age on Portugal. 8 science and 22 culture. He does have uh, harbors coming out and in the harbors he's uh, starting to build uh, lighthouses. I do see Visio uh, coming out with uh, settlers and I do see Moksha coming up over here uh, in that city center. We do have uh, Governor Magnus in uh, Lisbon and from what I can see of course his uh, government plaza is going to be between the two top cities uh, preparing himself for very good campuses on those uh, hills over here next to the mountains. Not bad! He didn't improve his horses. He does need to improve his iron tiles and I'm pretty sure he's going to need to settle more cities he does also get to trade coastally with his uh, ally here with zulu even though uh, for the beginning of the game they're not going to be very good trade draws there's still 40 gold a turn for him so very very nice or i guess he does have 40 gold a turn at the moment in total um come on bro etemenanki come on pebbleton i know you can i know you can do it oh my god come on come on pebbleton you're gonna think about the Temenanki. You are thinking about the Temenanki. Oh, you want the Temenanki. Come on. All of that positive energy over here. All of that positive energy. You know, like, 
You know, like, use the shforz. Use the shforz. Anyway, we got Gwernaro coming up over here with a free inquiry, Golden Age. He does have um, a decent amount of um, science points coming up from London, Sheffield, uh, Manchester and Birmingham uh, harbors. And of course, uh, we do see Odin Chamber coming up here in Manchester to um, specialize his uh, cities. I do see he's getting a decent, yeah, 20 science and 17 culture. He's going to need a, bit, uh, a lot more culture if he wants to go for mercenaries. But at the moment, he is uh, definitely much higher in stats than Terthai. Uh, Terthai did have a low tempo spawn with um, unfortunately him moving on Madrid he wanted he got debated over here he wanted to get a better settle but unfortunately he you know just you know um, well force himself out of uh, another city there wait where is he going with this one is this gonna be the, the city why not the cattle tile why not why not? Uh, okay okay third time let's go we got some uh, attacks over here. England is uh, fighting Terthai on the coast, on the west side. Um, I'm actually quite surprised Candy didn't get taken over by somebody till now. Uh, Spain did have the opportunity to uh, smash one of the galleys of uh, England. And of course, now he's going to move a little bit forward. Uh, we do need to see also if um, the Spain over here is going to settle more cities to the north. Uh, and if he, how many traders is he going to manage to get? Oh no, Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh my god, Spain. Are you actually going to move southeast? No, okay, he's going, he's going on the coast, okay. And I'm pretty sure Madrid is gonna need to get another galley out so he can defend against Indonesia's boats. Uh, Spain cannot see this. Oh wait, they're allies. Oh wait, whoa, 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 they're allies. It's fine, it's fine. <sighs> Are on the same team? Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I got you know like whenever I see settlers with other colors units next to them my height my heart just go boom, 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 boom. and i'm like oh my god it's gonna happen and then you know like the downfall happens and it's not there uh sugar <laughs> this map looks very interesting yeah it it does seem so it does seem so we got quite a bit of potential over here for the players come on man pebbleton receive the message yes pebbleton to start command what oh no no, 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 no. I'm gonna get something to drink. I'm bringing out the big guns right now. I got one of those new colas. Haha, -ha. curiosity colas. You know, I get. I need to get my some sugar in my uh, system because <laughs> after this, oh, why? Why? I, 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 I am so confused right now. But you know what, guys? No, I know, I know. I'm bringing out this. This, this is what I'm drinking. Curiosity cola. That's what it calls. Um. So, oh man, oh man, this, this. You know what? At least we got a confirmation. You know, that positive energy we were sending over there. We used the force. It got there. But unfortunately, our message was the problem. We didn't tell him to build in the Chocolate Hill City. You know, that's that's the problem. We didn't tell him to work and to build it there. That was the issue. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. The message not deceives, man. You know, like it's in, it's like in Shun Tzu. You gotta make sure your message is actually received and understood, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man. Yeah. Let me. What do I do with the bot? Oh. No. Okay. Well. This, this city, man, this city, and Nakusuka, Chocolate Hills. Ooh. 
Oh man, like, she would have done my spine. Can you imagine Pingala over here? That would have been like an extra 10 signs just because of Pingala established here with Temenanki and Chocolate Hills and the plus two campus. And oh my god, you get a plus, you can get a plus a three, um, the theater square if you wanted it. Oh man. Oh no, that, that's so juicy. And we got the first classical units coming off from Cree. Looks like he's going for horses. He's um, commercial got <laughs> got um, attacked over here by one of the English scouts. He burned it to a crisp, and it looks like now he's getting some archers from his city. He wants to take some revenge on his uh, opponent over here. We do have England uh, putting some warriors to work, and it looks like at the moment he's actually holding quite strong in the forest. Uh, Pebbleton going for hanging gardens as well. Looks like he's gonna go from his capital for the hanging gardens uh, and trying to get uh, some more housing in there, not to mention some more growth for all of his cities. We do have the Arabian religion also uh, slowly growing into him, even though he's probably not going to get any one of those, um, how to say, um, districts. He's definitely not going for holy sites, and I'm pretty sure he's not going for theater squares anytime soon either. Uh, we do have uh, Cairo already on 7 Pop, going for audience chamber as a specializing building of choice, and uh, he's uh, well on his way to getting a lot of uh, science with uh, culture. I actually like this opening. He's going to get very strong campuses, uh, not to mention in them when he's going to get that uh, madrasa. Oh my god. That's gonna be so good. Star Spanky, bună seara, domnule, bine venit. Ce mai faci, cum mai ești? Uh, we do have uh, Indonesia also getting his uh, fourth uh, settle over here somewhere in the uh, in the west side. A bit of a problem for him. He does have cliffs all over this place, so he can't really climb on top of them with his settler. We do have uh, Orient Shaber coming up in six tens from Majapahit, going for more lighthouses and still did not go and get to his fourth population here. I believe he actually got another settler to the south. That's one of the reasons he didn't get to uh, the fourth situation. Man. Uh, work, work, work. Yeah, well, come on. We're getting to... Uh, how to say? We're getting to uh, the vacation period now. We got only a few more days, man. Vacation period, only a few more days. Uh, let's take a look at England's main cities. He did manage to finish that audience chamber. Looks like he's getting more galleys out. He knows that Spain is over here. They're actually eyeballing each other next to the um, two tile uh, island over here. It looks like a Tiki hut. Can you imagine the vision from that Tiki hut? This is... This, I gotta say, it's better than in um, Avatar 2. You, you're just sitting on an island. They can't get to you, right? They, they can't get on land with the galleys. And you just see them fighting. And you're just, just standing there and cracking seeds and eating chips. <laughs> you know? Ah, what's going on today? Oh, you know, those guys, that the, the yellow guys actually came against those guys with the red flags and they were like smashing each other. And this time, actually, we got the yellow guys winning and then the red guys are going to need to come back and from the west side and they're repositioning each other in the morning. We're going to see a new fight over there. And, you know, they, they get like 24-7 news uh, broadcasts over there of, about the war. <laughs> Wait, Celestial Elemental. I didn't do any spoilers. You don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, to call me out like that. I actually didn't do any spoilers. I was extremely careful not to spoil anything. I'm pretty sure you know from the title is the way of the water. You saw the trailer, so it's you know it's already it's already out there. The information is out there, bro. It's out there. We got the uh, commercials uh, that need to be rebuilt over here. Looks like uh, Cree did not manage to take out the English scout. Uh, while um, we do have a Zulu warrior also coming up from the west side. Uh, Cree does have a problem actually settling his uh, fifth city. And um, at the same time uh, trying to get those uh, merchant points. It looks like he's barely on 2.3 merchant points. He's 10.42. That's uh, not really a good tempo for him. China also uh, starting to get the projects for Hypatia. He's going to want the free library and uh, plus one as uh, uh, science over there. Uh, looks like on the west side, of course, Arabia getting bigger. 30 science and 34 culture. With uh, 64 faith a turn, he got his uh, 62 production and 74 food. Very nice, actually. All around, very nice. A uh, bit of a problem with the gold generation. He's only on two gold a turn. But, of course, um, uh, Harentros is uh, going to be there with Joe III. And it's going to need to get that gold for him. Uh, we do need to see if there's going to be a way for Harentros to intervene into this. It doesn't look like, especially since Indonesia is not doing anything. 
uh, on the eastern coast uh, to uh, go against uh, Portugal here. So I'm pretty sure, uh, unfortunately, uh, Portugal is just going to need to be the gold maker. And that's about it. He's getting some more um, of these uh, settlers. I do see he's uh, also going to need to deal with a Spanish warrior from the west side. And he does have uh, one of those Indonesian warriors there. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. You see how he actually places uh, campuses here next to Evora. He's going to get a plus four. He does have another plus four here. Uh, and uh, quite a few tiles that he needs to work. Uh, seven pop in the city of Lisbon. Uh, he did get uh, Cavron Plaza from that city. And working uh, Governor Magnus in there. Interesting choice, by the way, for Governor Magnus to be in there since he knew he's actually gonna go for externals uh, into um, Zulu I'm very surprised that he, he chose a governor Magnus in that case definitely I was thinking Moksha or this one uh, Pingala would have been a much more interesting choice here uh, giving him that extra science boost and of course the culture boost respectively Trojan man good evening sir you haven't seen the uh, uh, but you saw the name right you saw the name come on you saw the name Trojan man, are you aware of the name of Avatar 2 or you just know Avatar 2? <laughs> yeah, Zulu and Arabia production and food is uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, Arabia is just going crazy here. Yeah, yeah. and the science is going to go sky high. We're probably going to look at turn 60, 150 science coming out from Arabia. If he's uh, eyeballing, if he's beelining universities like madrasas, he's going to go extremely fast. You just know Avatar 2? Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. Okay. Avatar 2. No spoilers. Okay. I honestly, I'm trying... Uh, I'm thinking, actually, not trying. I'm thinking of going a second time. Oh, oh, big... Oh, my God. I need to put up a poll. What do you expect from VIP cinema? Uh, check this out. Uh, wait. Guys, I need to ask you. I need to ask you something. So, what would you expect from a VIP cinema? Like, you know, like the personal touch over there. What would you expect from a VIP cinema? Especially like one that has like 26 max, 20 seats, not more than 20 seats, right? What would you expect? Waiters to give you food and drinks or a cantina style? <laughs> man it's not bro bro it, it's not uh show the admiral let me see what admiral it, it get picked up so we do have uh, five of them looks like Themistocles. Uh, oh actually a general coming up from uh, zulu so four admirals got taken uh artemisia Themistocles, uh, gavius duilius on uh, england Han and the hand on the navigator on uh, spain um Havari, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I would expect someone to take me there because I'm too cheap to pay for. <laughs> if I even more a wait, wait. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Man, it's not Hooters, bro. It's not definitely not Hooters. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. I got so disappointed, man. So disappointed. I'm. Oh my god. Anyway, I go once a year to the cinema. Haven't been there for like three years. So disappointed. I I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Oh oh, actually England, England might take out a city here. Cree city is in trouble. We do have China poking in, and it looks like he did see the fleet of England. At uh, the moment, PP Kisses is not doing anything. He has he has a half uh, strength horse over here to the north. That's not really gonna do anything. Uh, they do need to put the gold in in, in uh, Cree over here if he, he wants to keep that city. They do have uh, enough gold to actually buy a horse if they need to. 
or um, or even a galley i don't think uh, he actually has uh, the galley technology so of course that's the problem uh he's these galleys from england are uh, five movement they are going in there quite fast and then he's gonna use uh, his squadron to also attack the city uh, center he's defending himself against the chinese uh, galleys from the south and as you can see we do have uh oligarchy on both of them um i know a cinema where you actually get waiters I know, I mean, that's how it used to be, but I don't know what happened. They just switched to cantina style. As in, you know, like, you get like a row of, what do we call them, tables, and that's about it, you know? Like with a bit of food everywhere and some, not even a bar, it's just like some refrigerators with uh, drinks. I don't get it. They even doubled the price. And don't get me wrong, it's not a big price. It's like, what, 30 euros or something? Definitely not, 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 not big. Yeah, Romanian seminars, bro. Don't go in there. Don't go. Don't go, bro. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It used to be like you had waiters. They were like checking on you, like in the... I want to say uh, they were checking up on you like uh, when you were even watching the movies they were like moving around the, uh, the area because there are only 20 seats it's not big and you have like a table in front of you and you're just you know putting a finger up and you were asking like give me some more chips or give me some more of that and it's like give me a new drink and oh, amazing that <claps> amazing cantina style Well, we do have um, Valencia, Spain, actually getting quite a few of these uh, galleys, and by the looks of it, we're, uh, we're going to need to see how um, fast these guys are going to go to cartography. Guernaroth is seven turns out from Guernar uh, from uh, cartography. We got uh, feudalism coming out in two turns from him, so that means he's actually quite close to mercenaries. While on the other side, we do have Philip II barely getting Batras in six. You can see there's a massive difference between uh, actually Victoria's uh, technology and, of course, uh, Terthai's uh, technology. He has been um, keeping low quite a bit. And of, uh, right now, I do see he did manage to settle that uh, fourth city of Seville. I'm gonna go for a fifth one over here uh, soon in the southwest. I do see him uh, pumping out quite a few galleys, and of course he's definitely gonna need to um, be careful with England. The good thing is China is also on this side. He has also bought us in five turns with mercenaries in two, uh, pumping out as many galleys as he can with uh, harbor shipping projects coming out from Chengdu. Uh, markets from Beijing, and of course um, he's uh, gonna get the decent amount of gold from his allies. Uh, does look like at the moment Zhao the Third is not really really making that gold like 56 gold a ton with 37 production well sure he didn't have the best of spawns but it kind of feels like uh, he should have had a lot more gold maybe uh, there is something to do with uh, zulu's uh, capital over here or uh, the lack there of um, commercials oh finally finally we got a <laughs> well uh, yes i know a temenanki in two turns but um a harbor coming up in seven turns that is going to be quite something uh, can we see the tech tree? Yes, when dark. Uh, or you mean this tech tree? Wh which one? Actually opening up to see who's first in the tech tree over here? Or we got, who do we have? We got uh, Guernaroth, Yogdrial, and Pebbleton on the, on the Batras, uh, Machinery, Apprenticeship, Military Tactics um, a tree. And over here we do have them yeah, going for that cartography. And this is a sus manky, yeah. Oh, look at that. Actually, Indonesia got big. Granada, to Granada, Mataram, Tuban, Majapahit, Badung, Shurabaya. All of them got here. Very nice, very nice. Let me actually take a look over here on something. Did he actually go all the way around? Oh my god, did he actually need to go all the way around here and then spend four turns? He did, right? Can you imagine instead of walking from Badung here four turns, he actually went all the way? Oh my god. That actually happened. 
Madrasas, oh, we got uh, pagodas coming off here, okay, I thought uh, madrasas, but no pagodas, uh, well, you know, they have a similar top, uh, five turns cartography from Guernaroth, uh, he does need the goal from his allies, he's not gonna get the goal himself, and uh, it doesn't look like uh, they do need to keep it right from nine right now 56 20 28 uh, looks like Gornaros is uh, not that far away from getting his uh, mercenaries i'm curious if he did manage to get his um boost himself it's not usually what happens though on uh, victoria but i did see a lot of units so maybe he did manage to get it himself yeah uh, looks like uh, at the same time we do have uh, england Managing to uh, retreat from uh, the city of PP Kisses, Creed did manage to get a horse in there, and uh, the mo at the same time, uh, China did poke him back with uh, Gannis. England got the pushback. Harbor shipping projects coming off from. Um China, I do see at the moment, uh, oh, there we go, actually China did manage to get Hypatia, and we do have Kree managing to get an extra trade route capacity, Zankian, uh, they did pass on these, it looks like England did pass on the first one, he's probably trying to eyeball that, um, um, oh, there we go, Rajendra Kola, oh, wait, did somebody just got, Portugal got it, okay, Portugal got it, and uh, England over here is gonna get uh, Rajendra Kola, very nice, the plus three combat strength, uh, and Indonesia is gonna be left with the next one, uh, Spain would definitely need a project here, I don't know, yeah, he's doing one, he's doing one from Madrid, I'm not sure how many points he's making, six points at ten, yeah, it's fine, so he's gonna get Zenki, so every, um, well, not everybody, but at least, um, England and Spain will have it. I don't know if uh, we're gonna see one from China. Okay, he just got another one of these um, scientists. And here, China, China, China does need two more projects to actually get an admiral. He's switched away from it, so he's not going for it. Okay, not going for it. He, they're probably gonna try to force everything uh, or not force, boost everything on Spain. Uh, Spain still has an issue to actually get to cartography, while Guernaroth is four turns away, Terti is three turns away from Batres, and he's going civil service, he's not going for mercenaries. We are seven turns away from the medieval era, we do have uh, Spain also going for Wallace throne, he's gonna try to hard build his units as uh, hard as possible here. And let's see, Arabia, 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 did he get 100 science? No, 44 science with 43 culture, still needs uh, to build up his uh, libraries, and I do see him going for a water mill in Hattin, not bad, but man, that city is lacking production, definitely would need to uh, improve some of these uh, tiles over here, so he gets that extra production going, he has the technology, he just needs to get a builder, I would have uh, thought he, a builder would be a bit more um, impactful than a water mill, Oh, Temple of Artemis coming up from Zulu as well. Did he just build so a Temenanki in Kwadukuza? He has uh, two extra science points, okay? Uh, a Temple of Artemis in Nobamba. Then Ulundi is going to go for a campus. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, that, that works, that works. Uh, Endo Dakusuka, then Pop City. That's so big, bro. That is so big. He could have had so many tiles here with the Temenanki. One, two, three, four, five. Five tiles, five tiles. Six with the capital. Six. Six. Oh, man. Oh, wait. That's not uh, floodable terrain, right? It, that's not floodable terrain. Never mind. That's a uh, wheat tile, not floodable terrain. It's fine. Um, I'm late to this game. Fortuneless Cookie. Hello there, sir. Who's winning? We don't know. We actually don't know. We do have a very um, weird situation here for England. He's between four the civilizations. We got Zulu free seeming. Uh, we do have uh, Portugal actually uh, sending quite a few trade routes to him. Uh, looks like Indonesia is also uh, free seeming over here to the west side. Thor tank is getting his campuses now. He's gonna grow up in uh, science qu quite fast. Uh, we do have an Arabia that is uh, relatively close to um, his opponent here from uh, Indonesia, but it's on the, uh, the, you can see there's a waterway separating them, uh, and uh, Arabia here is exploding soon, 61 science, 49 culture, you can see he's uh, getting his madrasas uh, very quickly from his cities, and we're at 1049, just 49. Wait, we didn't put up um, managed prediction, right? Who will win? Let's actually do it really quickly. Um, Joy Blue. Or on the other side, we got Boomer APM. 
What do you think, guys? Who's going to win this? You guys got to see the beginning. You guys got to see the middle. Let's actually see who's going to win. Thank you, Kulawuzin, by the way, for uh, reminding me. It's Vicky versus the world. Rajendra plus cartography on Vicky sounds... Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's it's going to be a hard one. We do have quite a big fleet coming up from Spain here, but they're all galleys and he's gonna try to get cartography six turns away. So, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. That's actually uh, not that big of a difference anymore. Uh, he's, uh, is he gonna get the gold to upgrade though? That's the biggest um, issue. Uh, as you can see, they do have uh, 343 gold on Guernaroth. He's trying so hard uh, to actually not get uh, to spend that gold, uh, going for some more harbor shipping projects. He might actually try to get uh, uh, the last remaining Admiral while in Indonesia might snatch this one. We might see uh, England get the next one. Oh my god, he has two har three harbor shipping projects coming up next turn. And England is, let me see, where is he? Where, who, who this? Who this? He's, this is Guernaroth. He's host. He's top of the line over here. Yeah. Oh my god. He's gonna snatch this up. Next turn, he's gonna snatch this up. Even if Indonesia wants to pass this, and I don't think he's gonna have the chance, England is just gonna snatch two of those, or at least one. Gonna leave Spain without one. Do we have... Oh, we, do, we got also the, um, the fleet one. Gaius Dulius is over here on England. Spain needs to faith by it. Does he have faith? He does have. Yeah, he does have 325. It should be enough faith, actually. Should be enough faith to buy it. He has 69 points out of 75. It should be enough points. Oh, man. I want to see if Yogdrial is going to breach that 150 mark, by the way, 150 science mark. I was calling out earlier, turn 60, 150 science. Uh, did Vicky take mercenaries? He's going that way. He's going to record. Uh, actually, he was going. I don't know if he actually got it. Um, I don't think I can actually see. Do we have like a slinger somewhere? Slinger? No. Oh, wait, we can actually take a look at his uh, text. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He doesn't have it. I don't think he has the boost. Somebody else needs to get it. And I think it's Shaka going for it. Merson is coming up in four here. I think uh, he's waiting for the boost from somebody. That's um, a bit unfortunate. Also, I'm not so certain Zulu has the boost for himself. We do have him uh, putting down the commercials from some of his cities. He did manage to get these uh, campuses going. Okay. Not bad. Harbors in Quadocuza for that extra juicy gold. And I do see um, Arantros did manage to get 80 gold a turn, 32 science and 30 culture. Did finish some of these um, campuses that he put down. Going for harbor shipping projects. And now we get to see what happened. Zenki got picked up by England. And yes, Spain got the last one. Got uh, Himerios. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Okay, so we do have Spain coming up over here with um, quite a few boats. Military alliance going for cartography in five. Not that far away from uh, Guernaroth. I'm pretty sure Guernaroth is uh, not going to be incentivized to upgrade all of these boats without uh, mercenaries. So he's going to want to wait a little bit just to uh, get the galleys out. I'm actually a bit surprised he's going to discover cartography instead of um, going for uh, mercenaries. And of course waiting a little bit more to get one or two more boats out uh, actually even more he could get even more uh, looking at the um, uh, classical era era score let's actually see what's going on marvin going for a dark age uh, we got Cree over here far away from a golden age 47 out of 56 and it doesn't seem like he's gonna get um oh he got attacked zulu is attacking him oh wait really this is actually happening oh that's uh, that archer's dead that is D-E-A-D -E over here. Yeah, we got Spearman coming off from his cities. He's still on five cities over here going for Pingala in the second one. And it does seem like with 24 science and 45 culture does have a problem standing up to 58 science and 54 culture Zulu. 
Zulu did manage to get a general for himself and uh, from what I can see Kree did put down one of these encampments here uh, next to Pihto Karaha. Nah, P win! We do have Pingala establishing that. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised we don't see uh, Zulu taking out this archer faster. What are you waiting for? That's a one hit, one hit, wham, bam, you know, you go home. Yogdriel just jumped up to 84 science with 71 culture. We do have 81 production for him also. Guarnara did finish that cartography and it looks like he did upgrade the boats. Uh, let's see, does he have the half cost? No, he's actually upgrading with 100 po 180 gold. One, two, three, four, five boats with one of them being uh, fleet. He just upgraded the sixth one. He does have a few pre-builds uh, going against uh, China, keeping China busy while China is going barely going for cartography in eight turns. Uh, does have uh, only 43 science with uh, 50 culture. He's going to have mercenaries to go with these boats and I'm pretty sure he's going to get a decent amount of gold to go with. Uh, Thor Tank did uh, start up his gold generation on 110 gold a turn. That's actually quite good for him uh, going for more campuses and um, He's probably going to take out Antanarivo soon enough. Uh, he also started to uh, trade externally with uh, Madrid, with Spain. And as you can see, that um, having their economic zone over here to the south of Antanarivo. Uh, looking at the era score, we do have uh, three of the nations of um, uh, Joylu going for a dark age here with um, Poundmaker going for a normal age. On the other side, we do have Zulu getting his golden, Yogtrial getting his golden, Harendros uh, going for a dark age, Quernaroth also. Not getting a golden, not even getting a dark age. If this was a dark age, it would have been amazing, but yeah, not getting there. Yeah, just two more turns to figure this out. It looks like he's going for Spain. Yeah, it looks like he's going for Spain here. And Spain, 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 three turns cartography, feudalism in three. He's going to lose quite a few of his uh, pre-builds and he's uh, furiously trying to build new ones. And of course, he is uh, going to need to position them with uh, probably scouts in the water so he can defend himself while he is going to definitely need to go for mercenaries. Unfortunately, he's not going to get to fleet these up, nor will he have enough of them uh, to uh, properly upgrade. This is uh, This might be an issue. This might be an issue. We do have uh, Rajan Dracola also coming up for uh, England. He does have an admiral, an extra one, Zenki. And as you can see over here, he's uh, hard building as many caravels as he possibly can. He's going to need to stop China from uh, attacking him at the same time. All people never skip his uh, admiral. Uh, I will stop passing that admiral. Yeah. Uh, Rajendra works for all units. Yeah, all units from then on. Uh, free, mo free promos for um, English boats. Oh, you mean uh, from attacking Spain? Yeah, yeah. Free promos also. What's happening here in Greenland? So, okay. Is uh, commercial got uh, taken down? That's one less trade route to use. Looks like uh, Zulu is going to try to figure out a way to just be annoying here to Kree. I don't think he can take over cities, but he can definitely be extremely annoying, uh, forcing Kree to get an army instead of making the goal, getting the production up, getting his cities uh, up to specs. You can see actually Kree barely ha doesn't even have apprenticeship here. It's um, He's going for machinery. He's forced to go to machinery. While uh, Zulu is putting down more cities here, I would, uh, I would have expected him actually to get that cattle tile to the south of Endo Dakusuka. He does have another setter coming up from Mulundi, going from um, Kwadukuza for that uh, harbor in there. It's going to allow him to get more better trade routes uh, coming up from his ally here, from Harendros, uh, who is already on uh, 114 gold a turn. And let's see the first moves coming up on the seas. It uh, looks like uh, shift enter back from uh, Spain. He did retreat most of his galleys back into his uh, pond over here, into his um, gulf. And we do have uh, England trying to push in. There we go. Come on. Just get it. Get it. Get it. Ooh. Man, these bows just don't just don't care about attacking into galleys. Second.
Is he gonna attack with this one? He definitely needs to attack with this one. I see he has a promotion available also. Just didn't activate it. Embolom on uh, fleet. Oh, he did activate. Oh, what? Why? Uh -huh. That was a free heal. Free heal. Uh, anyway, it's fine. I guess it's gonna deal uh, more damage. Uh, next turn, Terthi is gonna need to be quick on the buttons and upgrade his. Um, Boats, he has quite a few of them between Bilbao and Valladolid. I do see he has at least uh, two boats worth of gold, while uh, Thor Tank does have 820 in the bank he can send over. Now, uh, it doesn't look like at the moment um, Thor Tank is um, interested in building a navy. He's just going to give that gold to Spain, leave that option to Spain. Okay, let's see. The Sharks. Is England gonna totally bypass the Spanish caravels and attack into the galleys or gonna attack into the caravels? I guess that's the... Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh no, he's doing it. Go galleys. Hello? Let's see, the, the caravel fleet is the most important. Okay, he's going galleys. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's attack as many galleys. Even if you don't kill them, half the health free, uh, caravels are definitely not uh, that strong, right? Okay. Oh my god, he got all of the gold and upgraded without mercs. That's a lot of gold. All of that uh, gold disappeared over here from Thor tank. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Terthai uh, used it. At least that's going to be a lot of uh, fleet to work with. And I'm pretty sure at the moment, actually, Gwernaroth has a bit of an issue. Uh, how is he going to deal with this? Uh, still, there is an advantage for him. He does have uh, higher strength units. He does have that uh, Ranger Dracula extra three, uh, not to mention on the southwest. Um, China did not manage to get an admiral. Uh, this is going to be a good thing for England, but at the same time, he didn't actually upgrade fast enough his cannibals to put them in the choke points. And uh, if uh, China flexes a little bit, he can... Uh, oh my god, now England, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. You need the gold, bro. You need the gold from your allies. You need to get it now. He only has a few gold points from his allies that he could upgrade his bows, but definitely having an extra two galleys upgraded into um, caravels are going to allow him to keep this choke. Not to mention he needs to get uh, new caravels in the water. Okay, we do have uh, everybody probably trying to get their uh, Golden Age options. We do have the World Congress, which I'm going to need to vote B in. Um, let's see, Confucianism B. Let's get this the spectator and let's get this also Just give me a second Looks like we got one more minute for the prediction, by the way, guys. If you want to put your prediction in, do it now, do it now, before the end. I do have to point out about uh, Salad in here. He's getting quite big, 90 size, 84 culture, still has uh, quite a few of these madrasas to uh, build. And, of course, uh, improve his um, improve his campuses. Uh, I do see a Cree horse is being annoying. Well, you know, it is what it is. Did he manage to get his golden? Yes, he did get a second monumentality golden age. Pebbleton is also in a pen bash and voice golden age. We do have uh, Zulu managing to get his uh, core ability. And as you can see, he has uh, quite a few strong horsemen cores. Not a lot of them to actually punch through the defenses of uh, Kree. Uh, Kree did manage to get back his um, commercial tile. And I do see him putting down an, another encampment from Miki Sivuacic. That is going to be a problem. His uh, Kree over here is just not going to have the science in the next era. Um, okay. Let's see. Marvin, normal age, normal age, normal age, nor dark age. Okay. Pebbleton, golden age on Pembrush and Voice. Arab Arabian, uh, Arabian Empire is monumentality golden age with 141 faith a turn. And he does have uh, 24 gold. Not bad. Joe the third going for the Dark Age, 111 gold, 47 science, 22 culture. That's actually quite quite problematic over here. At least he has the gold. While uh, Victoria did go for a normal age. Let's see what happens. What happens here? 
Mm-mm. Uh, Iki needs to think about an escape settler sometime soon. Yeah, and I, I would, well, I guess we do see a settler coming up from Sheffield. He can go uh, towards Mitla on the west side, and of course north of Endo Dakusuka. He should be fine. He could settle over here somewhere, just get those trade routes to his allies, and that's it. He should be fine. I'm a bit surprised we didn't see Indonesia pre-build some Jongs if he just got um, a few of those quadrims going and of course uh, put them next to Madrid somewhere, upgraded it when he need to, uh, he would have been um, poking, poking back at England very strongly. Anyway, this uh, English caravel fleet is very very strong against uh, the Spanish units, even against the caravels here. Needs to be careful how he's gonna um, plan this, uh, plan these attacks out. And uh, as you can see, he doesn't have the animal for uh, both sides. I'm actually a bit surprised he's spending out so far, but I guess he w didn't want to uh, attack into as many galleys as possible. Now he got his plan. He's gonna need to reposition his boats. Okay, let's see what happened in this. Uh, Confucianism condemns. Uh, okay, interesting. Quite a few did go for the condemn. International trade was plus four to the sender. Harentros, okay. And the Kitarja Thor tank with plus two diplo points. Harentros um, did jump up to 129 gold per turn, 52 science, uh, 22 culture. Well, I say that, but and then I'm thinking, that's not that big. We do have Arabia still on five cities. I would have expected him to go uh, seven at least. Looks like he's going for his uh, sixth one over here to the south of Hatton. And he did start to improve most of his land after he did finish that um, watermill. He did manage to get the extra production on these tiles. And as you can see, he's working on his campus from uh, the city of Hatton. Uh, he does need to get... Oh, there we go. Seventh city as well. Damieta. He does need to get the madrasas from all of his cities, and he's still four tenths away from getting to the under 50 pop. Well, I don't think he's actually going to make it. 150 science. He should have been there. Come on, man. You gotta. Well, I guess this horse didn't help at all. Cree just uh, putting horses to their uh, death in Sana just to pay some tiles and getting some um, free science from it. Okay, it is what it is. There is quite a difference at the moment between the two um, teams from what I can see in the um, science screen, but at the same time I do have to point out uh, we do need to see what China is going to do here. Looks like he is uh, starting to take out uh, English boats from the south, while England does need the goal to upgrade his um, new boats coming up from Birmingham, uh, upgrade these galleys into caravels and try to get that uh, caravel from the south that uh, looks like it's gonna die anyway uh, does he have movement no no we do have another caravel coming up from Birmingham. he got one from manchester looks like london is gonna build a new one as well as a campus in uh, that city of manchester now uh, it does seem like he's trying to chop them out and well, I guess I'm not that much of a believer that he's gonna manage to get enough boats especially after he gave up on this um on its defense. Uh, he does need the gold from his ally so he can upgrade as many boats as possible while he did upgrade with or he tried to upgrade with mercenaries. Oh, he didn't get there. He did upgrade as fast as possible. He didn't get to mercenaries earlier and uh, spent a lot of that gold just like uh, Philip II did. And, but at the same time, you can see there is a massive gold difference between or there was actually a massive gold difference between them when it comes to uh, the eel stab. Now, Pebbleton did manage to get 82 gold in the meantime, which does help them uh, survive a little bit longer in the score screen. We do need to see what uh, Yogtriel is gonna do in the next uh, part, especially with his uh, more series. Uh, he should be able to overwhelm Kree with the help of uh, Zulu over here and then keep on going against China. China is focusing all into the water, which does mean he's not gonna favor that much the land. Uh, he does have uh, the moment 79 production with 62 science and 40 culture. Missed his golden age, while both uh, Zulu and uh, Saladin do have their golden age options. That is uh, quite an issue, quite an issue. Okay, looks like China pushing forward, getting some experience points, taking out one of the English galleys, and uh, oh no, and the cannibal. Birmingham, come on, bro. Oh, he's retreating. No, oh, my God. We do have Spain over here getting caught between. Uh, I want to say a hammer and a rock, uh, a rock and a hard place. Oh my god. 
right? A rock in a hard place. I think that's the correct expression. Oof. That is a problem. And of course, uh, escape center coming up from Sheffield. He's going to need to get it to the west side. Zulu is uh, trying to figure out what's going on over here. Looking at um, city states, we do have Pebbleton keeping Taruga. Looks like uh, Thor tank is on Antarivo. That's Indonesia. We do have Marvin on Mohenjo-Daro. Marvin is uh, Kublai, China. Uh, Divi is going to be on Gazargamo. Yogtrial on uh, Candy and Yerevan. He's keeping both of these uh, faith city states for as much faith as possible. While uh, at the moment, I do see Anshan also being kept by uh, Guernaroth by England. Okay, Quadrim attacking. Okay, Caraval attacking. Okay as well let's get the builder no oh i guess that's fine War. War. another caravel coming over here and of course all of the caravels uh getting banged up oh my god this fleet is gonna die is he gonna get damaged yeah it's gonna die it's gonna die before the next promotion i was thinking maybe he gets lucky to put a promotion in but i i don't think that's gonna be enough he needs what two hits he needs to be hit two times uh get that and that's exactly when he dies that is so unfortunate so unfortunate maybe he's gonna want to kill a unit here rather than just stay there you know look pretty just kill a caravel in the meantime england you might as well right It looks like one Caraval died here. Birmingham is going to get attacked by two of these. We got a Caraval with um, Admiral. We're going to see the demise of the Caraval fleet here in just a few seconds. <gasps> it actually remained alive. What? It was this close. This close to actually getting a promotion. If only he would have had his vision over here, he would have seen this. Oh my god, that is amazing. Actually, two of the caravels died to kill that fleet at one. Unbelievable. We do have England over here, um, probably managing to uh, take out the chain. Wait, he might actually take out the these Chinese boats? He might actually take them out. Like, honestly. It Look, look at that. We do have them with uh, more points. He's going to have uh, England coming up with uh, the Admiral on him. And he's going to deal a decent amount of damage against uh, the Chinese caravels. There are, uh, quite a few of them are also low HP. And uh, he's getting a new caravel from uh, Birmingham. I don't know why he's building walls in Manchester, though. Come on. Just, you know, get caravels, bro. Come on. Like, be serious about this. Come on. They don't require resources, bro. You just build them and build them and build them and build them. Arabia, Arabia, Arabia. Let's see. 85 science, 102 culture. Oh, he lost his science because of this and he wants to keep building a harbor instead of repairing the um, campus. Looks like Madrasa coming up in Cairo. I do see or uh, Oracle coming up from Medina. He's going to need to finish it in five while uh, Pingana did also get moved. I'm not sure where it was, but I think it was in Sanaa. Uh, correct, but the hammer sounds good. Yeah, yeah, true. Between a hammer and a hard place. Swish. Woo. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Guernaroth. Let's go. Guernaroth. Guernaroth. And the crowd goes wild. Wait. Okay. Okay, promotion on this one. Good, good, good. Come on, get the promotion, bro. We got a lot of upgrades. Oh, more upgrades coming up from Spain. Okay. He's trying to kill another one of these cannibals. And he didn't have enough, bro. He didn't have enough. Oh, wait. England attack? I thought... Oh, my. God, I thought actually Spain attacked, but then I saw him promote and <laughs> England attack. Okay. 
Well, Wolves coming up in two in Birmingham. Manchester did get the Wolves up. We got a, another Cavill coming up from Manchester. Of course, now with the um, uh, Cavils um, benefiting from the Admiral points, the tables have turned and the Chinese units are in trouble. Three of them are uh, quite low HP, below half, and we do have one in the yellow zone. We do need to see if uh, Zhao Dong is going to manage to get the frigates out in time and, of course, if he is going to get to benefit from them. Uh, we do have Square Digging coming up in four from Marvin, while we do need to check out if anybody does have Niter, yes, Marvin actually has 10 Niter. We do have Paul Macon on a 3 Niter, and um, it looks like it's going to be enough for him to upgrade these. Uh, we do have also Zulu coming up with 100 signs, getting uh, quite a few theater squares uh, down. Barracks uh, coming up in his uh, lands, and I do see the um, more theater squares and the lighthouses. He's going to need to get the gold alongside everything else. Uh, the fact that he did manage to put Governor Reina in Kodukuza and has a lot of traders going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between his territory and, uh, of course, uh, Portugal's territory does give him a lot of gold for that uh, city. Very nice, very nice. Uh, does Joy Lu have anyone besides Indo that is relevant for late game? Um, well, they should have had China here, except. China at the moment is focusing on um, on England and unfortunately that's not going to help them out that much. So I would say no. We do need to see if um, first of all Spain is going to manage to break uh, England entirely with the help of China and if, I'm pretty sure they will manage to break him when um, they do get frigates. Frigates are going to be the units that are going to overturn this war towards their advantage while Spain is moving out from the east side he, he does have uh, quite a few of these uh, caravels managing to get them into f with fleets soon it's going to allow him to get the um, extra damage needed to punch through the defenses of the English boats and now we do have quite a few caravels in production we do have walls going up and these uh, boats the caravels are just not good enough to punch through the walls especially with 60 strength walls we're gonna need to see if um, he's gonna manage to also get his own frigates over here uh, we did see the english safety setter go to the west side here he's gonna probably try to get it uh, inland somewhere on the citrus or somewhere even further uh, towards the um, north of umgundundulovo or north of lisbon they could trade so many times here Definitely a good way to uh, get the gold, even if uh, you're not uh, going to have a big empire. Just get a few cities out. That's it. Get a few half-coast harbors in and it's, it's fine. The biggest question is how Arabia is going to want to play this. Because he, he did have a strong mo moment to actually go against um, Kree with uh, Mamluks. And uh, as you can see over here, he keeps on uh, being uh, banking on that uh, science and culture. He definitely has a lot more than Poundmaker does to benefit from. And at the moment, Poundmaker, because he was pushed by Zulu, um, needed to upgrade a lot of units. Used quite a bit of gold and uh, didn't actually put those um, production points into his settlers and so on. He's only on five cities and looking at the long-term possibilities of his empire, unfortunately, is not even close to what uh, Arabia can output. Colosseum coming off from Barca. It looks like uh, Cairo is also going for uh, great scientist points. Uh, Isaac Newton is going to be the next one. And uh, there is a well, there is a very, very high probability Arab uh, Arabia is going to get it. Uh, Kree is trying to go in camel training projects. Okay, interesting. And Zulu is getting a spy in. Okay, we got more Ikandas coming out. And I do want to see what's going on here. Looks like um, Spain did not wait. And he did manage to punch through the defenses. He did to take out one of the cannibals of uh, England. While, of course, he's getting closer to the city of Manchester. We do need to see if England is going to get enough boats to defend himself here. He's going to need to defend against the southwest and against the west side. Not an easy challenge. Uh, Portugal is about to get their UU. Yeah, big gold time indeed. We got it now. So we, when do we want the gold? Now. What do we want? Now. When do we want it? Now. Man, I really need to get uh, something for my feet. One sec.
There we go. Big old town. No. Did Portugal not pre-build now? No. He did not. He did not. Well, I guess he does have one, two. That's it. Two boats. Going for campus. Re why, why is he going campus research projects? Next to um, Yogdriel. Yogdriel. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, by the way. Yogdriel or Yogdriel. Uh, okay, Trebush is coming up from Zulu. He's going to get the three ton cores over here from two of his cities. And uh, you can imagine how much damage they can do actually against the Kree units. Uh, if uh, Arabia is going to want to click on that button and uh, get Kurasiers uh, quite fast, this is going to be dangerous. <laughs> we do need to see if Arabia is also going to want to go for campus research projects from multiple cities. I do see two of them, uh, one from Medina, one from Hatton. And he did finish that oracle in the city of Medina. He did uh, finish also a project this turn with 41 great scientist points at 10. I'm pretty sure that's a project. He needs uh, three more projects to actually recruit that scientist. While we do have uh, Medina with uh, Pingala establishing next turn in the city. Let's see what happened on the coast. It looks like there are a few English uh, caravels. One of them is going to die. Oh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, this is going to be a hard cookie to crack. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one. 74 strength heals every turn. That's going to be a hard one. The good thing is uh, Spain does get the fleet ability, so I'm pretty sure he's going to fleet up uh, quite a few caravels here. And uh, these uh, guys are going to be stronger, stronger, faster. Order. I mean, no nows means no fetorias. Yes, you are correct, sir. I'm. Maybe he forgot about the nows. I think he forgot about the nows. He probably just thinks, you know, Portugal. Oh, big trade roads, bro. I got the gold. I got the gold. The cheeky gold. I'm on 220 gold. He totally forgot about the nows. Hmm. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure England is not coming out of this alive. It looks like he might have some advantages, but oh man, these these are way too many boats for him to handle here. Oh well, it is what it is. Can they fund him or can he get some uh, trebuches here? I don't think so, right? Some um, coastal siege units so he can uh, attack into the boats. No, oh, that's too late. Too late. We got some um, free medkits over here from the crabs. It looks like uh, England is just getting pushed all over the place. Oh well, at least he did get his uh, safety settle over here to the west side. Um, at the same time, uh, Zulu is uh, starting to bring trebuchet cores to the southeast towards um, Cree. And uh, of course, Cree did not manage to get uh, more cities out, not anytime soon. Uh, there was at some point a settler being built from uh, PP Kisses. I don't know where that guy went, but I'm was pretty sure he's going to try to get at least another settler here. Maybe in the north of Aktakakup would have been a nice one. Uh, going for intelligence agency from Mikisif Wachik. And it kind of like at the moment Didi is um, locked in place there. He would need to expand. He knows he's going to be um, attacked by Zulu at some point. And... Um, yeah, he's probably not really confident in his chances of winning a war against the Zulu. Uh, we still have Isaac Newton coming up next. And Arabia does have 123 points uh, uh, out of 155 with uh, one more project coming out next and from Medina. Uh, I do see Sana is also going to try to get one and I'm actually quite curious if Arabia is going to try to chop it out. I don't think so, but maybe, you know, you never know. 
Uh, we do need to see if Portugal is. Oh, he did get the now. He did get the now, and he's gonna put it in Guadalcuza. We do have Icanas coming up in two turns as well as uh, more libraries in Lisbon, Evora. I do see uh, campus research projects uh, finishing up from quite a few cities, even though Portugal. Wait, he. It's the ally of Arabia. Are they actually going for the same one? Or, do, or does he want to get the next one? It's the food one, right? Um, yeah, I think he wants the next one. Something. E Kaldun? Uh, you don't need to upgrade them right away. Closing. Wait, wait, wait. Andy Reo? No, I don't think it was a big gamble, but a winning one for the moment. Uh, did Portugal not? Okay. I mean, no, now it's been more no Fatoria. The thing is that uh, the money goes to Vicky, so there would have been no money for the nows. Uh, do you know the song? It is what it is from Milky Chance. I do not know it. Uh, oh, really? I do not know it, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, I guess I'm going to need to check it out. Let me Let me check it out. I, I can't hear it right now, but I can uh, definitely uh, keep it over here. So you said it is what it is from Milky some Milky Chance. Okay, Milky Chance. Uh huh. I see it. Uh huh. Oh wait, this actually came out two months ago. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, maybe I inspired somebody to make a song out of that. <laughs> What is the food one, uh, scientist? Uh, Ib Khaldun. I think we're going to see it soon. Uh, Arabia is going to pick this one, and uh, the next one should be Ib... Uh, it's not, actually. It's Emily Duchatelet. No! It's the one that gives you amenities uh, from um, you know, food benefits or something, or not only food benefits. I forgot how the spelling is. Ib Khaldun. This one. It increases non-food yield benefits of happiness in your empire by 40%. Um, quite a few players consider this um, a lot better than um, than uh, Newton. Because Newton, yes, it does give you a free university and a library, but the universities provide plus two and to actually get a lot of benefits to make it worth to get a lot of uh, hard, um, this what do you call it, uh, projects, uh, you would need to get a lot of cities. Like even in this empire, it gives you like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, times two, it's uh, 16. So, yeah. Maybe in the long scheme of things, it's not that big. Uh, we do have a Colosseum finishing up next turn from Barca. It looks like it's going to hit one, two, three, four, five, two, four. No, not this one. Hatton, two, four, six. This is so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and Sana, two, four, six. Yeah, Sana is gonna hit as well. So seven cities, Colosseum. That's gonna be quite nice. <gasps> he did go up one. No. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, not pre-building now. This could have been a disaster. I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now over here are going to start uh, going for it. Well, the thing is with pre-builds, you don't actually need to upgrade them immediately. I think uh, what um, uh, CC Pyro was saying, yeah, it's, you don't need to upgrade them immediately. If you don't have the gold, you just don't do it. And you try to uh, bank, up, bank on it. Maybe some um, hard builds can also be used here. We'll see um, Joe the third and what he's gonna do. At the moment, he does have Merchant Republic, so he can put on the Press Gangs card and get them half, get the both half cost anyway. So it's good. It's good. Yeah. We do have uh, Spain starting to pillage the harbor, starting to pillage those uh, traders and of course getting the gold from this. Uh, China did manage to get his um, frigates and they're gonna start working on the city of uh, Birmingham. We do need to see if uh, Guernarath is going to manage to get his uh, quadrims upgraded into frigates. It looks like he's going for machinery and exploration in three. He does not have Niter, but we do have Yogtrial on Niter and Pebbleton as well. So I would have expected him to actually go um, you know, frigates. I'm not sure why he delayed that technology. Uh, anyway, we do have uh, Terracotta Army coming up from Endo Dakusuka, a few trebuchet cores uh, coming up uh, towards the southeast, towards uh, Norwengu, while uh, you do see new armories and oh, yo, quite a few armories and the stables. I think we're gonna see Kurasir core slash Bombard core attack over here on um, Kree. 
Hey, Settler, hello, he's actually gonna get another Settler, Didi, let's go, two, four, six cities. Uh, right now they have something I want that could have been used for the nows, engineer would be nice, mad, beats, hello there, sir. Beats, yeah, we do have Ip Faldan as the next trade merchant. Looks like Zulu and Chen are fighting for it. James of St. George would have been amazing. The medieval walls in the city, especially for England, would have been so valuable right now. Also, Angus Oslav, good evening, sir. Good evening, welcome, welcome. I also noticed China kind of stopped settling, going for more science here, and I believe this might actually come back to haunt him. He does have at least two more settles here, south of Longxi and Xinjiang, with another one on the coast. On the well, I wouldn't really suggest going for this one, but anyway, he did focus all into that um, water, and of course, uh, going all into uh, Guernaroth, which honestly, Guernaroth is doing exactly what he should be doing. He's trying to irrel both uh, Spain and um, and uh, China, and he's doing just that. Spain is barely on uh, 66 science, with uh, Marvin on 76. While you can uh, take a look, oh my, there we go, 180 science, Yogdriel. Power! The power! We got 145 culture as well for Saladin. We do need to see what he's gonna use it on. On the tech side, he's going military science with nationalism. Oh, wait. Wait a second. So, guys, guys, guys. Is this gonna be Arabia helicoptering everybody else? Or is this gonna be like one tank to rule them all? And what about the CS control? Let's see. Uh, Taroga being held by Pebbleton, Yogdrial on uh, Mitla. We do have Anchan on Guernaroth. Looks like um, Antara Rivo is gonna be held by Thor tank. Uh, Mohenjo Daro by Marvin. Mohenjo, Mohenjo. Uh, and Vilnius on Thor tank. Uh, Yerevan and Candy are also both uh, being held by Yogdrial as well. Kilvak is Ivani finishing up next turn from uh, Cairo. We do see Ip Faldan also for Arabia. He did manage to probably buy that with uh, Faith, yeah, the great merchant. That's uh, an extra trade route, and he's going to get some Faith from the trade routes also. Very nice, very nice. Arabia nukes? I'm not so sure about... I mean, I would love to see the nukes, but I'm not sure he has the production to go nukes. One tank, though, or one helicopter army. Oh, man. <laughs> He's gonna make his enemies bah. We got uh, England over here coming up with uh, Governor Victor trying to defend himself. There's a single quadrant that honestly has too many, too many targets to attack into. He has one on the east, one on the south, or two in the south, and he's getting attacked by multiple frigates. Not sure that's gonna remain alive anytime soon. Uh, of course, um, in the meantime, Spain is trying to pillage as many tiles as possible from the coast of uh, England to the north, while the safety settler of England is just happily, happily going to the north of Nazca. Well, they went through the desert and through the tundra. They managed to find those citrus, well, oranges, found the oranges and the pigs and found happiness. They remained for the rem for the remainder of their lives. Uh, he had two pebbles, and there are two cities he trades to, and need Fatoria maybe two more for Arabia. Wait, oh, you're just wait, guys, guys, you're you're still talking about the nows. The nows, yeah, I mean, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. He, he has the nose. Harentros has the nose. You see the Fetorias also. It's fine. It's all good, bro. It's all good. It's getting there. 265 gold. Harentros over here is going to fund all of the needs of Yogdrail's advancements. 
With Ohio first ever more turns until the Renaissance era, and I do see finally Chris gonna get his seventh settle. Uh, I do also notice we do have a Timur as a great general for a Cree, while uh, at the moment Zulu is gonna need to get his uh, Trebuchet course on the front line. He does have Corsor course to go with this. Uh, he is going gunpowder and nationalism in two. He is gonna have armies really quick. And uh, from what I can see, Zulu is kind of trying to get to um, spy and more population here. He's trying to build as many fires as he can between his cities so he gets that food in and of course the ho gets the housing. Uh, Terracotta army finishing up in then two turns from Endo Dakusuka. He's gonna get a free level four uh, with the spy over here. And I'm actually quite curious if he's gonna try to go for a level two spy against his opponent. He probably will. 135 cents with 119 culture. 112 gold turn coming up from Shaka. Yogdrail about to breach that 200 science mark. We got Hanentros also on 141 science. And this is Dark Age science. Oh man. This is the Dark Age science. Guys, did you see uh, Black Adam? Did you see the new movie from uh, HBO, from DC Universe? I just saw it yesterday, so I wouldn't expect a lot of you did see it, but I'm just thinking out loud, you should see it, you know? Can Indonesia do canal for a go on Portugal? Uh, yes, I think so. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> no, he can't. He cannot. He cannot do it. Maja Pahit is stopping that from happening. Uh, Zix calling it out. Yeah, it was good. Uh, Sisi Paro calling out. Yeah, it was decent. He saw it last week. Yeah, it kind of bombed and the rock made some questionable choices about it. Oh, really? The rock? I don't know what happened like behind the scenes, like the dramas and so on. I just saw the, the movie. And honestly, I like the twists and turns of the movie. It, they were unexpected, which was fine by me, you know? Kind of cringe on some areas, like, you know. At some point, I was like, oh, I'm going to put a pause on. I'm going to get, like, you know, to see something else, going to hear something else, going to do some work and then keep on going. Watching it like I need... I need to move away from the scene, you know, like, you, oh, I mean, I know what's going to happen. I mm, don't want to see it happening, you know, like, oh, no, don't do it. Birmingham has fallen. China did manage to breach through those defenses, got the walls down, and now he's working on the city of Manchester's walls. Now, Dwayne refused to come in, to come in Shazam to us. Uh, okay. That's like the Joker's actor refusing to come in a Batman movie because he has his own Joker movie. Okay. Well, I think there's some trouble over there with uh, G with uh, the big director. It looks like he cannot keep his uh, team in a in a line. What can I say? The Shazam villain. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Honestly, I, I have no idea of, about the comics and stuff like that. They did try hard to portray him as a villain. It, it just didn't look like they managed to do a good job. Well, we do have uh, Spain coming up with Ironclads. And we do have uh, Spain also uh, getting his uh, fleets going uh, he's uh, trying to get more settlers and of course improve his land here did manage to settle the cities on the west side giving him uh, that double bonus on the um, trade routes while he is unfortunately uh, gonna need to settle so many new cities if he wants to be relevant in the game that's why he has settlers in production from Valladolid and uh, Madrid uh, I do see Tertha is gonna manage to get to probably his golden is every one out of 73 points uh, very very close to getting there I'm not even sure he actually got a mission anywhere, so that would be an easy four points for him. Just get one over here and that's it. Uh, in Bilbao or Seville on the other continent, you know, just just do it, bro, just do it. We do have also um, on the other side, Yogdrial managing to get his Golden Age points. Harentros also getting his Golden Age points. They're going to make so much gold between them. 323 gold on Harentros. Right now, right before the reform, the coinage, while Pebbleton does also have 142 science with 120 gold per turn. Uh, needs to put a lot. Oh, calves. Oh my god, calves. 
Oh no 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 no! Oh no no no! Well, we do have metal casting coming up in three turns, so at least Kree is gonna get um, a lot of these pikemen into piking shots. Uh, those are gonna be stronger units to defend against his opponent i'm not sure if this is gonna be enough though these uh, calf cores with um, the first promotion are quite strong i'm quite curious what promotion do they have combat strength against uh, attacking range and siege units he didn't go for the echelon for the um, other promotion the one against uh, anti-calf units impressive preserve england is building uh He's actually building a preserve. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, he is building a preserve. Did he build it? No, he just probably wanted to kill the forest or something. Yeah. Pun hard short. Good evening, sir. Also, bonsoir history on hello there, sir. Uh, there's no chance Vicky's escape shuttle ever gets anywhere, right? He did. He did. Yeah, he did. He actually did. He's alive. He's alive. And Spain is just over here, way, way, way too far from actually attacking into this. And England's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I got it, I got it. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We got some camps coming up from Arabia here. Looks like uh, he might actually manage to get through the water and uh, get in, into the backline of the city of uh, Pascav Ashik where we do have um, a lot of tiles for them to pillage while I'm pretty sure Zulu is gonna try to keep the attention on these uh, trebuchet cores to the north uh, and of course we do need to see Arabia get into that backline he could try to go directly to China as well uh, these guys are extremely fast well extremely fast fast they're fast Oh my god, Arabia got hit Kaldun as well. He got Colosseum, he has a lot of happiness. Plus six happiness in uh, quite a few cities over here. And now he's gonna get hit Kaldun as well. Oh my, 250 science, 175 culture, 75 golden, 231 production, 200 food, and Ib Kaldun. Is he gonna put it in the capital? He got a commercial, by the way, finally he got a commercial there. Is he gonna put it in the capital? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, can Joy Lucy England's new safety city? Uh, no, they cannot. They do not know. That is a good question, actually. They do not know. Yep. No problem. Thank you. Thank you the question got Spain uh, getting more settlers out I see two of them are moving on the west side looks like he is probably gonna keep a lot of these cities from Spain Manchester definitely can be kept here London needs to be worked on and the Chinese frigates are over there trying to go through the wall defenses uh, it's gonna take a few turns but this is they're probably gonna take out all of the cities here we got another settler coming out from Sheffield which I think is gonna try to go on land but Cree does have a horse and gonna try to stop it and I'm pretty sure the Spanish caravels are not gonna let it uh, pass by them in the water I guess the biggest question is uh, what is Arabia gonna do here and how is uh, Cree gonna survive Cavs, okay two shot pikemen I think Pike Inshots should be able to, uh, especially if they're like fortified and got all of their bonuses on, support bonus and so on, and they should be able to uh, withstand quite a few attacks. Now these trebuchet cores are going to be a problem, not to mention these uh, Gosmamon cores. Military Academy is coming up from quite a few cities from Zulu. He is going to prepare for the tank attack and we do need to see uh, how many unit pre-builds is he going to have. They have more than enough coal to um, afford everything they want to, so it should be fine. Oh, 
Yeah, he definitely wants to take down the quality of his uh, capital there. Not uh, let his opponent get it. Scorched Earth Tactics, I believe it's called. It's trying to destroy his tiles. There we go, we got Pikey Shots, and now we can actually take a look at the damage points. Oh my god, they die as well. That's without Fortify, though. At, uh, without a plus uh, 6. There's like no damage difference here. What the F, bro? Oh, was this spy just got activated? The level 2 spy? No, that's this was quite some time ago. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the Cav army coming up also to the north. That pie man is gonna get it. He gonna get it. Get it! Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Arabia actually going in. And it doesn't look like China saw this happening. Arabia might actually get a settler from a Marvin. Marv? Man, do you guys remember uh, Home Alone? Home Alone 1. Just the, you know, the, the biggest one. Home Alone 1 with uh, Marv. Do you remember that scene when there was like the, I would say, the, the spider? <laughs> He was with the wrench, <laughs> not the wrench, well, I don't know how to call it actually, it's like uh, a big metal thing. And the big guy was like, Marv? <laughs> oh man. No reactions here, you guys don't remember the movie, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're trying they're trying their best over here. We do need to see uh, if they do manage to pull this off. Kitarja with 106 science. We do have him uh, starting to build a few of these galleys and got a few pre-built uh, quadrims. But I do need to say he's going to need to go on land against Portugal and also defend probably at some point against uh, helicopters coming up from Arabia. Now on the east side over here he has uh, quite an enemy to go against. Yogdrian is 265 science, 200 culture and he is going to just go get bigger. Ip Khaldun still didn't get uh, to activate, we do need to see him uh, activate uh, probably this time, then we're gonna need to check out how the um, yields will change here, uh, Cairo is on uh, 62 production, he, we do have Yogdrian on 442. Oh man, oh man, well I guess uh, China settler managed to get back into the city of Longsi in the meantime, and from the north it looks like Zulu's units are just punching through, using the Kree units as punching bags. Okay, well, it happens. Well, what you gonna do, man? Sometimes this happens. Uh, we do have a military engineer coming up from uh, Nazca, from Zulu. He's uh, starting to build up the infrastructure towards his opponent here, while he is uh, starting to get the Cav armies, hard building them from his cities. Uh, two tons from Ulundi, we got three tons from Kwadukuza. These uh, units are more than capable of uh, taking down the Kree Empire here. Even with the pike and shots, they just don't do anything to defend against those. Uh, when the... Oh, Fortuna Scudia, you just watched it again last week. It is so... Yeah, I know, man. Oh, my God, yeah. So many... Like, i seen it so many times. I think I know the movie. Like, not, not the whole movie. Just, like, the hard scenes. Like, the comedy scenes. I know them, like, by heart. Like, I, I can imagine them, you know, like, uh, replaying them in, back in my mind. It's amazing. Um, when Dark is also saying, uh, Sile Joyo Lurons on this uh, million defend, je suis l'un d'entre eux. Uh, Sile Joyo Lurons on this fan, je suis fan uh, d'entre eux. Si oh, oh, you're just saying that all over again, okay? Uh, Sile Joyo Lurons on the uh, seul fan, alors c'est moi. Sile Joyo Lurons non pas de fan, ça veut dire. Qui je suis mort si le monde est contre le joyeux Luron, alors c'est joué contre le monde. Ha ha! <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. I gotta ask, did I read that with the cor correct uh, waves? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> getting there, man, getting there.
Guys, guys, you you need to give me. Well, I love you too, bro. You need to give me some form of a message over here. Can you guys give me a message for my tutor? Message for my tutor. Come on, let's see. In my stream chat, can you get me a message so I can actually uh, screenshot it and uh, send it to my tutor for for my uh, French lessons? One year. I have one year of French lessons. What would you say to my tutor? Whatever it is, I'm going to screenshot it. So you just put it down in the stream chat and I'm going to screenshot it and send it. Let's see what's happening with the camps here. We do have uh, Arabia coming out uh, to attack uh, China. Looks like China did manage to get a few pikemen. The Arabia's um, camps are just not strong enough uh, to attack into the pikemen of uh, China. It looks like China is going to have a good time to defend himself with the pikemen. Okay. Let me, let me see. Uh, Portugal Vini. Uh, why does Liechtenstein enable when he can't even move his mouse while the ball? <laughs> Come on, man. What does Leech have to do with this, bro? Why you do Leech like that, man? We didn't need to uh, take a look at the onslaught of uh, Zulu's units here. And let me actually open up the, the gallery tab, the camera tab. <laughs> he still thank you so much, man. Let me see. There we go. Is it readable? I think so, right? Let's see, what do we go here? Uh, oh, wait, preserves. Nuclear. There we go. So, uh, we do need to uh, take a look over here. What do we have? We do have uh, Dark Age, Dark Age, Normal Age, Heroic Age on uh, Terthai. Uh, Philip II is going to have Hicksung Dracons with Reform the Coinage and Monumentality Golden Age. While on the other side, we do have Shaka in a Normal Age. Uh, Yog Trial is going to be in a Reform the Coinage, uh, Golden Age. Uh, Haren Harentros on uh, Heroic with Reform the Coinage, Hicksung Dracones and Monumentality. While Gordon Arthur is going to be in a Dark Age. Okay, we got to pause here really quickly. I don't know why. Ah, uh, Thornton cannot vote. Okay. That's a bit unfortunate. Wait, why is he disconnecting? Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, Thornton cannot vote. Yeah, indeed, but he shouldn't have DC. You just, yeah. Spartia text. Thank you so much, sir, for um. What was it? Yeah. For um. Translating. Man, as much as I, I know that Pad de Sossi is uh, no problem, every time I'm thinking of Sossi, I'm thinking of little mice. I don't know why. Like, it's just my mind where it's like that. So it's like no mice. And I'm in my mind, it's in, instead of no problem, it's like no mice. And I'm like, like why? <laughs> why is he saying no mice? And then it takes me like another second to process what actually got said there. <laughs> No sausage, yeah, yeah, no sausage. 
1 p.m. or 8 p.m. will shift enter the Congress, I think. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, to counterbalance the lack of the other one, not um, voting. What's the history on? Since one of the guys has been disconnected, the other team will have one of them not vote. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very good, very good. Venetian Arsenal on Portugal? Okay, well I guess he, he doesn't want to get it away from everybody else, but other than that, he doesn't look like he's gonna do that much. I'm pretty sure um, Zulu over here is gonna manage to overwhelm uh, the Cree defenses. Doesn't look like uh, Cree has anything to uh, do against this. We do have Trebuchet cores that are gonna smash through the defenses of the city soon. And as you can see, Zulu is just bringing more and more units, and not to mention building the roads towards his opponent. Cav, all of them Cav armies coming up next. These are gonna be so strong. 91 strength units, 98 on somewhere. Oh my god, yeah, that, that's gonna be a problem. A big problem coming up here. Oh wait, they're calling out the GG. We got a victory, and it looks like the Boomers won. Uh, you see, the submarines actually did it this time. We do have uh, the Boomer APMs actually going for this. We did have Arabia getting it, Kaldun, Newton, not to mention a lot of science and culture. He did also get the Colosseum, and um, it was not poked by anybody during the game. England did uh, manage to get a safety settler out before he died, and um, we did see how unfortunately he did lose a more... Um, most of his uh, territory over there to Kublai, China and uh, Spain, not before he managed to erail them into oblivion. We're going to need to uh, take a look at uh, how this is going to um, uh, keep on going over here. And of course, we're going to need to see how um, we're going to have the post game chat going. I do want to take a look if we can actually get into the channels. Let's see. Uh, channels, communication. Okay, there we go. Pour être honnête, j'ai full troll. Hein. Euh... On est deux à avoir full troll comme des connards, c'est vraiment catastrophique. Ouais, de ce que j'ai vu de la map, l'Espagne, t'avais un technical. Hein. Bah, en fait, non, j'avais un technical, sauf que j'ai bougé. Ouais, mais même, enfin, je pense que même sur moi, en bougeant, t'avais un tech. Bah, en gros. Euh... T'as demandé, sur... ouais. demandé un arbitre Non, même pas. Bah, non, on non, pas arbitre, j'ai fait. En fait, j'ai bougé, j'ai fait merde. Bon bah, euh, j'ai bougé. C'est pas un technical. Si si, non, mais technical, non si, mais ça dépend de la case de départ, quoi. Non, nous ferons peut-être un nouveau conseil. Je sais pas, j'ai quitté la game. Ah, moi, je suis toujours. Ah non, j'ai quitté. Ah, t'as remplacé du coup. Ah mais, il y a Michael. Ouais. Hello, hello. Hello, Michael. Hello, good evening. Bonsoir, monsieur. Du coup, j'ai spawn là. Uh, if you're talking about the... Il est là, tu vois. Du coup, je sais pas... Je pense pas que ça compte comme un technical, pour le coup. Si, mec, c'est 100% technical, uh, ça. Normalement, quand tu bouges, c'est plus un technical après. On, a, ouais. on en a parlé avant. On avait parlé sur le ouais, stream. Là, t'as deux... Ouais, voilà. C'est... Parce que t'as deux villes, t'as deux villes, hein. Si tu sais que là-haut, sur le... Sans bouger, t'as deux villes, hein. Euh, en fait, non, parce qu'il qu y avait celle-là. Oui, oui, il y a deux villes, À partir du moment... Euh... Non une, ah, deux, c'est vrai que c'est effectivement. Oui, il a deux, il a deux, mais ça fait tout On dit que s'il a bougé, effectivement, ça peut pas être un technical. Donc, euh, ouais. Oui, c'est ouais. ça, quand tu bouges, euh, il a plus de technical ah, après. Là, là, mais quel dommage. Ça, ouais, du, coup, quoi, bougé, du coup, j'ai bougé. Du coup, j'ai bougé. J'ai vu le volcan, j'ai fait. Bon, bah, je ferme ma gueule, hein, tant pis. Ah, 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 ah. ah là là, on aurait été chaud. Ah, ouais. On n'y a même pas pensé pour être honnête, vraiment. Ah, non, mais normal. Hein. 
Et l'un d'eux est sur la même mer ou pas Parce que j'ai pas vu. Bah l'un d'eux en fait elle est là. Ok ok. Mais du coup c'est la même mer que vous. Oui oui. Et vous avez un 4 sur la même mer que notre anglais. Ouais c'est dommage. Ouais ouais c'est... Non non pas 3, 4. Mon land il était éclaté. C'était vraiment... Oh là là. Quand j'ai vu que j'ai fait deux fume. Oh le colon non mais il est déjà escape à gauche le colon, c'est ok. Ah putain, ouais, 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 il, il, est escape, monde, euh, était... Fois, voilà. il est sous mute là. Exactement là. <rire> <rire> à côté du choco MDR. Voilà. Oh lourd. Yeah. I oh, have a question. Big, big question. Yeah, Why Oscar. no etemenanki on the chocolate hill city? Why? Oh, yeah, 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 this is a big question. <rire> big question, bro. The big question. Et, Why no etemenanki? <rire> Et tu sais que je voulais faire les Temonki mais j'ai pas fait rien en fait, pour ça. Hein. En fait, au début. C'est la Mount of Time, non Il built it on another city, I don't know why. Yeah, we, 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 uh, I don't know, man. Why like. I don't know, I didn't care. Like, uh... Oh, you didn't care, okay. Oh my god, we were watching that and we were like, oh my god, that city with the Temonki. All of the tiles with all the signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would have been beautiful. Yeah, I, I know, but uh, it was. I uh, mean, uh, uh, no girls, so I was, uh, yeah. I was never bringing any tail, so I just put it somewhere and make points. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know it was better uh, anti city, but uh, I was already working for full tide and I didn't need anything. So. No, in all cases, it was very good. It was just an experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. experience. I made a game that was perfectly experimental, consisting of having no shop on all my land. Ah, ah, zéro hey, chance alors, sur alors, Fidia, c'est parti Magnus avec la promo droite J'ai vu ça mmh, T'as pris la promo droite de Magnus, non, non juste Avec les colons, Magnus là. Des... Juste Magnus le Magnus avec les colons, non Oui, bah après, oui. Ouais. Oula. Parce que j'avais pas mes routes internes. Non. Coup de genre. Je suis parti direct en externe, en fait, donc... Euh... Que veux-tu le... Donc j'ai juste fait pour pas perdre de pop, pour pas faire mes quartiers plus vite dans ma cave parce que je manquais de bouffe c'est tout. D'accord. Mais... Non mais écoutez, ah, c'est dommage. Ma cave c'est la seule ville où j'avais deux... trois chops de pierre donc euh, j'ai chop avec Magnus et... Oh, bah, ouais. Wow, on doit débrief in English, what the fuck. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good, you do you. It was it's a good fine. game guys. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game. It was a good game, sorry. <laughs> with, that, with that, Michael can train, can train uh, it's French. No, yes. it's French, I think. Oui, oui. The most important error of the game is me, to be honest. You can, you can, you can oh. tell uh, your tutor. I managed to recover any amiral for the caravels and all. Uh, Andra. Sure. Yeah. Ah si, là, oh, avec une Angleterre, euh, du truc euh, piège là. Ouais, euh, j'ai de la garde piège. Ah, c'est marrant ce truc là. Et tu sais que pour prendre mon panthéon, il n'y avait, avait plus rien, j'étais obligé de prendre les pâturages. Hein. <rire> non, mais c'est dommage, tu vois. Je, je pense que le, si je t'avais piqué ton colon, si j'avais mieux joué, si j'avais pas fait ça en carton, tu pouvais je pas aller pris ton en carton. Il shift enter. Il e shift enter et deux fois, donc tu peux, tu peux jamais le Non, mais il y, y a ça. Et, non, des, 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 franchement, l'erreur vient du last move, first move, vraiment, je pense. Ouais, je pense. Ouais, euh, tu dis, sache que t'as failli devenir un héros national. Oui. <rire> T'étais à deux doigts de devenir un héros national pour prendre la, la, la enfin, B2. En vrai, ouais, pour B2 une B2 première game officielle, ça va. Ouais, ouais j'avoue. Mmh. <rire> oh la catastrophe de cette non, 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 non oui, donc, on, est bien, on, avait, on a gardé nos, nos CS bleus pendant pas mal de temps aussi. Donc, oui, euh, on, on les avait pas ouais, vus, malheureusement. Non, on a été passé focus. Toutes les CS2 à 3 émissaires là, au Captain, il y aura un peu de rien à foutre. Ouais, <rire> vous avez mis beaucoup d'émissaires dans les CS violettes aussi, hein. très early. Et vous avez pas, on a, vous avez tous les CS violettes et on vous, avait pas, vous avez moins de culture, vous avez pas fait une place de théâtre. Et vous aviez pas fait de place de théâtre, ouais. Ah, au final, c'était moi qui devais les faire, mais au final, c'était moi qui est en train de défendre la Liki. Final... C'était un peu dommage. Euh... Non, je pense que c'est ah. l'Indo qui aurait dû essayer d'en faire avec sa... sur les côtes parce qu'elle a quand même sa proxy dessus. Sachant oui. que c'était elle qui avait pris une suzeraineté d'une des deux. Euh... Ce, que, ce que je veux dire, c'est que j'ai eu un petit dégouvernement dans une nuit, du coup j'ai envoyé la main direct, tu vois. Ouais. Et que... du coup je l'ai su, et c'est pas lui qui l'a su, tu vois. On s'était fait la réflexion quand même que là actuellement, euh, la culturelle elle passait. Euh, si on... oui, enfin, oui. l'un de nous se focusait dessus, elle passait. Oui. Ah oh oui, dans tous les cas. Ah, ah, on... euh... Mais, mais pour faut... 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 faut raser Candy, les gars. Faut raser Candy. 
Candy, vous y a plein de bateaux, il euh... y a Candy à 32 DF et on me laisse 2 16 blanches, 2 16 bleus alors que j'ai un kilo. À... Voilà, je, je le savais, j'aurais dû faire le kilo. À... <rire> tu peux ah ouais, tu un mec, t'en as fait des merveilles. Hein. Ah ouais, j'en ai fait. Bah, Lot of Wonder for Arabia. Bah, si, si on a fait un kilo, ouais, il fait bah, comment pour descendre le Zulu Arabia free sim, so. <rire> yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of wonder. <rire> <rire> Coliseum, Kilois, Oxford. Je me demande un truc sur le juste. Oh là, le tuguet qui était tout seul. Oui, il était très simple, donc. C'était facile. Voilà. Et 6. Ça fait qu'à il tape à 91 là. Non. Voilà, on aurait pu casser un petit peu de gitan là. Du gitan d'arabe et de tuyer. Waouh! Non, 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 non. Wow. Mais... À une ça, tête près pour faire une a... ville. Euh, une ville. Euh... Pauvre Rado qui peut passer à la droite. Eh ouais. Mais tu sais qu'au euh, début on parlait d'un play, un play canal, mais il y a un putain de chevaux sur la case. Ouais, je sais, je sais, j'y vais. On a eu le on a fait. Non, mais c'est une blague. Et ça, aussi, euh... aussi l'indou, ta place de gouve. Euh... C'est bien quand on a des quartiers autour. Hein. Vas-y, bon, c'est bien. Ah, j'ai pas vu ça. Et il est parti, t'entends que... Non, il est là. Non, il est là. Ah, là. C'est une idée, hein. Michael, you are in yes, the sir. game. Can you, can you? Yeah, do you mind showing us the, the governor? Can you go on the uh, and Indonesia land, please? On uh, Indonesia, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, Pingala in the cap with uh, Badung having Reina, Shurabaya Magnus, Moksha in Tuban, but I don't know the levels. I don't know how. I can't see the levels. And Liang in Granada to the southwest. Yeah. Alright. Each of his uh, cities with a governor. Thank you. Alright. So there was a one more question about uh, the move. Cree almost had a Zulu settler. And yeah. Oh my god. I, I was watching that. I thought uh, Zulu is going to sacrifice his um, the scout. But somehow he had the confidence of shift entering and then. Uh, How to say, and then well, settling that city before the scout yeah. attacked into the city. I, I don't know how you had that confidence, but it was amazing. <laughs> we, we just, uh, we just told, told them so. To, to oh, that. really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 honestly, uh, honestly, if, if it were me uh, in, in this position, uh, the confidence may not be because I have lots of distinct uh, on turn. Yeah. I, I, but, uh, yeah. Well, he's always, uh, at, the, at the first frame, he, he, his computer is okay, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the times there is no problem. Ah. Non mais c'est dommage. C'est dommage, il y avait des meilleurs moves à faire. Mais en vrai c'était mmh. cool tu vois, pour une première game compète. On a pu voir déjà le niveau, euh, le niveau qui, était, euh, qui était très sympathique. Franchement je vais Le Portugal free trade Ouais, euh... surtout le Portugal oh. qui était... Alors juste la première image c'est parce que Tugay il était pas, euh, il était pas free trade. Oh, le, oh, portu non, le Portugal non, à un moment il était 2v1 contre l'Espagne et l'Indonésie. Ouais. Hein. Alors le premier imap c'est imap... incroyable. Hein. Pr premier imap c'est vous qui l'avez demandé hein, parce que nous on était très contents avec la match. Ah non non on était incroyable, <rire> on avait tous des trades route entre nous. Ah bien, non, hein. nous c'était Bagdad. Hein. Et le deuxième, et le deuxième c'est parce que je ah, que le deuxième était parfaitement jouable. C'était hier. On, avait... on, avait, euh... on était tous les quatre costa mmh. Portugal tout ouais. dans son coin avec euh, deux mecs en face. Et non, mais attends, 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 mais euh, surtout et que. Et Yog Drael qui était sur un truc de deux bandes de large qui était obligé de tout le. Bande de terre yes. de deux cases là. Mmh. Yes. Ah ouais, Arabia was in a, the sort of choke of two cases. Yes. Oh, right. it was so difficult to play. Yeah. Um, everyone was on, on, on the CC and uh, Vicky was in, uh, in Nancy. So. But Cree had eight pashers in another city. Yeah. Yeah. Cree would have been big. Oh yeah. So yeah, big. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, did, I didn't hear. You didn't but... scout uh, this uh, your land, but in the north, on the second map. No. Oh. <laughs> on the second yeah. map, you, you was a, you you had a lot of. Uh, well, pas français, un, un moment, uh... En gros, en gros, <laughs> beaucoup de bétail dans ton nord, mec. Ah uh, ok ok. <laughs> Belle, oh euh, right, right. Je sais que c'est dans des lacs, mais tu peux quand même exploiter tes poissons. Euh... 
qui s'est abonné. Ouais, je vous ai pas fait plus tard, mais en fait j'avais plus de battes à un moment et. Euh... <rire> il a un poisson récif et une arme dans un lac qui l'a pas exploité. Euh... Bah ouais, mec, j'ai pas que ça à foutre. Normal. <rire> j'avais pas besoin, mais j'avais pas besoin. Non, mais euh, c'est l'Angleterre qui parle. Non, mais elle avait le temps, l'Angleterre. Le... Ah, non, non, c'est sur le Zulu. Moi, sur le Zulu, sur le Zulu. Non, mais. Ah non, moi j'arrivais plus à sortir des battes. Ah, je sais pas, je faisais des débattements. Mais t'inquiète, mais... là, 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 avec... là avec la réforme, je suis à 600. Ah, mais à un moment, mec, à un moment, on avait trois fois leur stade, j'ai arrêté de jouer, tu vois. Genre, euh... ah, <rire> j'étais en mode autopilote, je traque rien, c'est parti, il y avait des commandes. Non, okay. mais voilà. Mais voilà, écoutez. Toi, t'es prof, ça. On avait des golds avec le Portugal. Ça fait très longtemps que j'avais pas joué le Portugal, moi. Donc... Ouais, bah, alors, tu comme ça, je commence à comme ça, free sim avec des trades route, ouais, c'est bien. Et je sais oui, pas vous, mais nous... Aussi, donc... nous on a fait plusieurs tests avec Portugal sur 6 c'est rarement, euh... ouais, <rire> rarement ouais, une bonne idée. Mais on a deux mecs navals plus des mecs qui sont en bouche, tu vois. Genre, on a ouais, des pour lui, quoi. Je t'avoue que le Vicky Portugal en général il passe bien. Ouais, ah, mais on, on avait fait des, on avait fait des rôles. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Ouais, ça nous a un peu étonné. Bye bye. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Thank you for the long to stay, by the way. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks for the cast. Thank you. Avec yeah. plaisir. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So, there we have it. We heard from um, the boys over here giving um, some feedback in English, some feedback in French. I'm pretty sure uh, we have uh, quite a few French viewers. Uh, and of course, um, uh, I can only thank them for. Um, uh, telling some feedback in English as well for the English viewers. Um, we did see Boomer APM managing to get a win today against uh, Le, um, how do you call it? Joyon Laurent's uh, De La Centrale. Um, as you can see, England was about to uh, lose his uh, last uh, main city, but he did have another one uh, safety settled over here to the north of uh, Zulu. Zulu was uh, taking down uh, Cree. We did have Arabia get quite big, 300 science, uh, 260 culture, 270 culture, 76. We do have Cuirassiers coming out from him, and of course, with uh, Zulu uh, taking down uh, Cree over here, it would have been much easier to go against China and take him out entirely. You know, we would have had um, a two versus three situation and I'm pretty sure with Arabia being so big they would have just nuked everybody else or just you know send some um, I think it was easy actually to send some uh, helicopters over here against Indonesia so um, that was the first game out of the qualifiers for um, the next uh, CFR squadrons we do have them uh, starting up um, uh, for these qualifiers um, for a few weeks I believe they're gonna be like four weeks and uh, three weeks three weeks four weeks so it's four uh, four stages and then we're going to have the Civil Fire Squadron started up uh, right afterwards. Um, we're going in uh, in two days' time, or maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I can get another game tomorrow, or we're going to have the one on Thursday. Uh, Thursday, and we're going to have uh, another one. Give me a second over here, so I can put it up uh, on the screen. In my Discord, by the way, you can uh, join and see the upcoming games. Uh, we do have Sumer version 0 0.9 versus Landverse de Du Victor. Um, it's gonna be uh, later on uh, on that evening and tomorrow there was a game uh, that was uh, announced today actually uh, give me a second so i can see we do have uh, Le Deux Reeves versus uh, l'union de recruits ambitious <laughs> interesting huh? the union of the ambitious recruits very nice very nice it's um tomorrow at 2000 um that's paris time so that's 1900 gmt i do need to see if i can actually make it i do have something to do right before and of course i'm gonna try to um uh, talk to the players and uh, see if uh, I can uh, join. So in the meantime, thank you so much for joining, for all the follows, for all of the um, uh, subs. It does help me so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I do want to also uh, thank you if you're coming up from um, YouTube. I do hope you enjoyed the content. Throw this a, a thumbs up. And of course, I hope you, I can see you on the live stream on twitch.tv slash on sport TV. Uh, we can uh, talk more there. And um, if you have any kind of questions, definitely uh, leave them down below in the um, comment section of the movie that's about it have a good evening guys and uh, let's see each other in the next stream bye 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 yeah